right, what up, what up, what up, people? What's popping? What's going on? What's going on? What's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? Man, I got to talk about some shit today, man. It's just, <sighs> this shit crazy. Um, but before we get into anything, before we get into anything, uh, remember, make sure you guys check out How to Have Sex with Tube, a minute a day, ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. Make sure you guys check out this book, How to Have Sex with Tube, a minute a day, ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys check that out. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I don't know what's up with YouTube, but I've been getting a bunch of people saying that the YouTube wasn't notifying them about the streams. I know that shit be happening sometimes, but it is what it is. Cause either way I'm going to be recording this, you know, it's going to get recorded to the shit. So even if you miss it, um, you get to, you know, see the playback. So it don't even matter. You understand what I'm saying? But the game is still going to be heavy. You feel what I'm saying? So today I'm going to be talking about how the coronavirus is affecting online dating and affecting women in online dating. So I got a, a lot to say about that today because, you know, People need to understand this and dudes need to need to know uh, what's popping off out here in these streets. You feel what I'm saying? They need to know what's popping off in these streets. What up, Damien? Kenwood was popping. Aaron B was good. What's the deal? Fierce Soul 85 was popping, bro. Oh shit, my dude Kalima in the building. What's going on, bro? I haven't heard from you in a minute. What's going on, my dude? Big stain in the building. Sex God in the building, OG Hot Rod, Vam C was good, and Andrew Taylor, Dada Saints was popping. So yeah, so I'm telling you, the 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 game in this show today is gonna be is gonna be so heavy because I'm telling y'all, listen, listen, I I have I got a headache. My dude Kalima, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get up, man. You gotta hit, hit me up on the Facebook, man, because we gotta talk. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see what's popping with you, bro, my dude. Um, but yeah, I got a headache from from talking to all these women online, bro. I have a fucking headache. You understand? I'm 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 doing all this so y'all don't have to do this. So y'all don't have to go through the bullshit. What up, Pervish was popping, new money was popping. I'm doing all this so y'all don't have to go through this. So what am I talking about here? You got to understand that right now, the coronavirus shit, what up, Solo TV 84 was popping. The coronavirus shit is fucking up the game right now. And what's happening is, is that it's turning online dating into an attention whore fiasco, a, an attention whore fest, an attention whore extravaganza. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you guys what's going on right now. So, you know, I'm on my dating sites. And some, and some of you guys probably know this already. You've probably seen this where, you know, of course, the dating sites are like, hey, listen, um, you know, don't meet up because we're in the quarantines and all that other shit, right? They're saying don't meet up. Don't do any of that stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. We, we don't got to meet up. If that's the case, we ain't got to meet up, Right? But what I was saying or suggesting is this, and this is what you guys got to do, but I'm going to also tell you what's going on so you don't get caught up in this trap, right? So let me first tell you what you should be doing on the online dating site so you don't waste a lot of fucking time and you don't deal with these girls who are intention whores. So remember, guys, donate to the show. Click that link. Um, and if you have any questions, I will answer them on the, on the show. If you donate, you have any questions, put your number in the, in the your first three numbers in the chat and I will pick up when we start the phone calls. Right. But this is what you, what you got to do on for, for, for right now for the coronavirus stuff. And, and this is the thing I hate to fucking date shows, but you know, this shit is some big shit happening now. And I think guys got to understand this. And if you still want to get shit cracking. What you want to do is this, is that when you meet these girls or you match with these girls on these sites, right? One, make sure it's a woman in your area. 
So I'm, I'm going to tell you about that, the, this thing later where there's a bunch of women from other parts of the country trying to holler at you right now. Ignore those women. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to get to that later. But first, make sure there's a chick that's near you, a chick in your city, a chick that you can get close to at some point, right? Once you've established she's a chick who you can get close to at some point, you understand exactly big standing on some 2,000 miles away on Tinder shit and all that bullshit, right? So make sure it's a chick that's close to you. Once you've established she's close to you, y'all matched, get her on FaceTime, right? Get her on FaceTime. Once you get her on FaceTime, right, you're going back and forth with her and all this other stuff, right? Then you say to her, listen, once all this corona shit die down, once all this quarantine shit is over, me and you need to get together, right? And she'll be like, all right, cool, yeah, we should get together, right? And so what you do is you do not uh, text her or call her or whatever until all this shit dies down. So you meet a chick on the, 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 the app, you FaceTime her. Hey, let's have a FaceTime date. Cool, let's do that tomorrow. Let's do it tonight, whatever. You have the FaceTime date. Y'all going back and forth. You talk to her for maybe five, 10 minutes. And you say, hey, listen, you seem cool. When this shit dies down, I'm going to holler back at you and we're going to get together, right? So now you do not holler at her until the shit dies down. So let's say if this dies down in like the end of May. Hopefully it dies down sooner, but let's say it dies down by the end of May right? You do not get back to that chick until the end of May, until shit's dying down. If it, if it dies down at the end of April, cool. You don't get to her until the end of April. You said, what if it doesn't die down till next year? You don't get back in, in touch with her till next year. Hey, you remember me from last year? What's going on? How you been? How's everything going? Cool. So what's good? You understand? What's good? You said she won't even remember. Now, if she was interested in you, she'll remember. But even if she doesn't remember, you have her information now. You have her, you have her number. So you can hit her up. Hey, what's going on, Stacy? How you been? She could be like, who's this? Oh, you don't remember uh, so-and-so from Tinder? We was talking when the fucking corona joint was happening. What's good with you? Let's get on FaceTime again. Oh, yeah, I remember you. What's going on? Oh, cool, cool. So look, what are you doing this Friday? Let's get together, right? What I'm saying is this. Do not talk to these women on these sites for an extended period of time. You understand what I'm saying? All you do is match with them, FaceTime with them, and, and say, I will holler at you when the shit is done. And you can do that to a bunch of girls. So let's say when the shit starts to die down, you got 50 girls you could respond back to. Now, you're not going to get with all 50. You understand? Some of them are going to fall off. Some of them are going to be other situations. But you still got... 50 girls you can holler at, right? Now, this is the shit that's going on right now that I want you guys to understand. And I want you guys to, uh, you know, recognize and realize when it, when it comes to you dealing with these chicks and what you shouldn't be doing. Now, you know, there are certain sites, and I noticed like on Tinder and shit, where... I don't know for what reason, but or, or this is this is what I was hearing because I've been asking women questions on the site. So I would match with these girls, and and, and for some reason, all of them was a thousand miles away, two thousand miles away, uh, six thousand miles away, and I'm like, what the fuck is all of these women thousands of miles away? Shout out to April MC in the chat. What's going on? I'm like, why in the fuck is all, my God? I got my settings to two miles. Why am I only seeing 95, 98% of the women in my feed thousands of miles away, right? So then I'm noticing I'm matching with all these girls, right? So I was like, okay, let me, add, let me talk to these girls to, just to see what the fuck is going on. So this is what I found out, guys, okay? And this is something I already knew was probably, it was already happening anyway, but this shit, I'm just like, when you talk to some of these women, you realize that they, they thrive and they crave the just attention. You understand? They, they crave the fucking attention. So this is what's going on. So I matched, with a, I matched with a bunch of girls who are thousands of miles away. Women who are in fucking Australia, New Zealand, fucking, uh, you know, wherever. Right? So then I say, so then I say, you know, 
hey, we're so far away. What? What? Wh why do you think we matched? Right? Like, we're, we're so far away. Why do you think we matched? And she said, and then one of the girls is like, oh, well, I set my location to New York. And they're like, you know, Tinder's given this, like, passport thing where you could set your location. And so we could talk in New York. So I said, but wait a second. What sense does it make to talk to somebody in New York that you probably never meet? And from most of the women, what I got from them was they were saying, well, since the quarantine is happening, I just wanted someone to talk to. You, you, you understand what I'm... <sighs> they just want someone to talk to. I've actually seen this... I've actually seen this on certain women's profiles saying they're just looking to talk. Because remember, women love attention. They love attention. So they're, they're just, they just want to talk. Right? And what I'm telling you guys is do not talk to these women. You understand what I'm saying? Do not talk to these women. Don't talk to them because they serve no purpose. I'm t listen. <sighs> listen. If they are not near you, if they're in another country, do not talk to them. If they're near you, you set up a fucking FaceTime date. Is that simple? Because if they are not near you, there's no reason for you to talk to them. Like I even, I, and this is the funny part. I've asked, I've asked certain girls in there. I said, I said, hey, so I said, why aren't you, why aren't you uh, matching with the guys near you? And I said, wouldn't it make more sense to match with a guy near you? So if you actually like him, at some point you can meet. And some of these girls didn't know how to respond. They were like, oh, okay. This one girl was like, well, you can unmatch me if you don't want to talk. I'm like, I'm asking you a question. Why are you matching with? Guys in New York who you're probably never going to meet. But the reason is, is because they want to talk and waste your time. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's not like you match them with, it's not like you in, in Philly and you match them with someone else in Philly and y'all talk. So when the shit die down, y'all can meet each other because y'all in Philly. No, this chick is in fucking Dubai somewhere, right? And you're in fucking Jersey. So what the fuck are y'all talking about? You understand? But see, the thing is this, and this is this is just my 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 uh you know thinking of what's going on here is that if you are, let's say for example, the reason why a lot of these women like to because I, I some some certain women was like, oh, I just want to expand my horizons and I would I just want to talk to people from all across the world. Why? Why? Exactly, Ed Zone. It's a it's an ego boost. They're just on there for ego reasons, and it's nonsense. So that's why I'm saying, do not waste your time talking to these women. As soon as you see that shit, say, "Oh, she's three thousand, four thousand miles away, unmatch." But see, I think what what happened is is Tinder is somewhat they they put this thing for women because this is the thing. Tinder and, and some other sites like Bumble and everything. I think Bumble still has the shit where, you know, you, you still match with people near you. But I know for Tinder, something happened where they was able to get this thing, I think, uh, like a call a passport thing where you can fucking, uh, you know, hit people up from far away. So a lot of women jumped on that. So now you may be a dude in New York, a dude in fucking Chicago, a dude in fucking L.A., and you getting matches from chicks on other continents that, that want to talk now because they're bored in their house. I even had a woman say this. She said, oh, I'm just on here to talk because I'm bored. So I'm supposed to, wait, I'm supposed to sit here and <laughs> exactly, uh, April, I, I, I agree. He said, give her the PayPal link and tell her she can pay you for your time. Facts. So you're supposed to sit there and 
chit chat with some woman and entertain her for what? For what? This is what I'm saying. This is bullshit. Don't do guys do not fucking talk to these women. I'm telling you they will waste your time. It's no there's no point. You understand? And see, there's gonna be a lot of um, you know, guys who are simps who just like the fact that a chick is even giving them attention, that these women are gonna get all this attention from dudes who don't know no better. Because again, I was asking them, I said, what is the point? Of you chit-chatting with someone across the world that you are never gonna see. And you're and you're on a dating site. Oh, I'm gonna take calls in a second. You're on a site for dating. Meaning, at some point, because okay, we're in the coronavirus shit and all that other stuff. At some point, you're going to most likely want to meet this person. Wouldn't it make sense to talk to somebody? Five miles away from you, then 5,000 miles away from you. But again, there's a lot of women on, on there who don't have direction. And they're just doing... Look, they like the attention, so the attention's good enough for them. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why they're on there, doing that shit. So again, like I said to you guys, is the best course of action for you guys... You understand? Exactly, Kaleem. He's like, don't, don't fall, for, fall for that shit. The best course of action for you guys is to, if you match with somebody close to you or near you, and you're interested in that chick, say, here's my number, give me your number, let's FaceTime, FaceTime the chick for like five or ten minutes and say, listen, I'm going to holler at you when this shit die down. Now, when you do that, what's going to happen is some of these girls may actually text you in the meantime. Now, you can respond back to them if they text you. They're like, hey, how's your morning going? Oh, it's going good. How's yours? It's like, oh, I'm doing, she's doing that. Be like, well, cool. Well, it was good to hear from you. But listen, I got to run. I got a bunch of work to do. But listen, when this shit die down, though, oh, we going to get together and have some fun. You have a good day. You understand? You said, what's the farthest distance from you you would talk to a chick? Well, it, it depends. <clears throat> it depends on, you know, let's say your city and, you know, what you have around you. So, for example, I'm in New York City. So, um, the, the the farthest that I would probably even talk to a girl is like maybe, <clears throat> you know, five to eight miles. You understand what I'm saying? Away from me. If you're in like another city or, or a place where you got to drive all, uh, around, maybe 20 miles or something like that. If that much. But if a motherfucker is... 3,000 miles away from you in another goddamn country, bruh, stop it. Now, it's one thing if the girl is actually, and, and this is the thing, I had a girl say, because I asked her, I said, I said, because she was, she was from, she was in Australia, I said to her, I was like, yo, why you matched with, um, you know, why do you think we matched, like, you're so far away, Right? So she was like, oh, well, she's like, oh, I love New York and all this. Look, New York is awesome. And then she says that, but I'm moving here in June. Right? So I said, cool. Holla at me when you get here in June. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Holla at your boy when you get here in June. That's that's it. We're the Conversation's done. We're done. Do not let these women extract attention from you. Don't do it. Don't do it. And don't think you got to sit there and call a girl or text her every fucking week and, and uh, you know, build rapport and fucking get... No, don't do that shit. Don't be sitting there having phone dates with her every week until the coronavirus is over. Don't do none of that shit. Guys, remember, make sure you guys donate to the show. I'm, I'm going to take some calls in a second. Make sure you guys donate to the show. And remember, if you donate to the show and you want your question answered and you want me to talk to you on the phone, donate to the show, put your number in the chat and say you donated, and I will make sure I pick up on you specifically. You feel what I'm saying? And don't lie and say you donated because <laughs> I got my phone with me so I can see it, see who who's donated and who didn't. You know, and shout out to everybody who's donating because the donations actually helping uh, myself and Miles with the company because I'm trying to 
rent out another space to do more and more things. You feel what I'm saying? So I have more time and more space to do more shit. You feel me? So every every little bit counts. I appreciate it. So now, um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. Do not sit there talking to these women all all day. Uh, just don't. Just don't. I'm telling you, these women they they are there. Like there was a girl who matched with me who's in Brazil. I say, yo, don't you want to meet any guys in Brazil? And she's like, oh, but I'm just here to talk. And these 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 women are so adorable. They're so adorable. Like they're they're so. It's like it's 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 almost cute, kinda, because they think we want to talk to them. It's adorable. It's adorable. It's like it's so cute. I'm like, she actually thinks. That I want to sit here and talk to her. About what? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like what do we need to talk about? It's so adorable. If you're all on the other side of the world. And I'm pr probably not going to meet you ever. Why am I talking to you? See and, the, and again this is the thing. We're dating because we want to get dick to pussy. You understand what I'm saying? Even though women like to get some dick, they also love attention because attention boosts their ego. Attention makes them feel sexy. Attention makes them feel wanted. But that's not your problem. You understand what I'm saying? That's not your problem. So if I'm on a dating site and we're not doing anything moving towards actual dating, then what the fuck am I talking to you for? There's no point. There's absolutely no point. You understand? So all you need to do is, when you first match with the chick, and she's near you, Get that FaceTime popping, so okay, we talked. We had a little going back and forth, so we felt each other out. We seen each other, you know, uh, how we talk and act or whatever. We felt each other out, you know what I'm saying? We, we spent 10 minutes on the phone going back and forth, getting to know each other a little bit. And you're like, okay, you seem cool. I'll hit you up when all this shit die down, and we'll pick up from there. We'll pick up from there. I don't need to be talking to you every day. I don't got to FaceTime you every week. You know, as, as, as long as it shit. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm telling guys. I'm telling you, do not do that. I have a headache from the nonsensical fucking conversation. I'm just like, yo, because I'm, I'm just trying to get to the point. Like, yo, wh what's good? Wh wh why? Why are you? Why do we match? What's up with this? Why did you set your fucking thing to uh? To, to 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 New York. What are you doing? Are you coming to New York? You're not coming to New York? All right, cool. Then we can end the conversation. Real simple. Real simple. You know what I'm saying? Real simple. Hold on. Shout out to... Shout out to my dude Jason with the $2 donation. Appreciate your fam. Shout out to my dude Jason with the $2 donation. Appreciate you, my brother. See, this, this, is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I got a, a, a chick just matched with me 3,000 miles away. Hit me up. Talking some shit. Why? And you might be asking, well, why you? Because this one girl, she said, well, just don't swipe on the women who are, who are thousands of miles away. The app is set up so that 95 to 98% of the women that's in the feed are thousands of miles away. So you so it's almost like they they want to trap you guys in to fucking talking to the women. And see the thing is is that for a lot of these dating sites, right? Uh they 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 can't make money without the women being on there. So they have to cater to the women. You understand what I'm saying? They have to cater to the women. And see, the thing, the thing that I think what happens is this. The reason why the women like to set their profile to 
thousands of miles away so they could talk to dudes thousands of miles away is because they can safely talk to you without being enticed to actually meet you. I'm going I'm to I'm say that again. They can safely talk to you without being enticed to actually meet you. Because understand this, women are, and I said this before, women are susceptible to game. So if I'm talking to a girl who lives one mile away from me, and I'm talking that, that fucking slick shit, that's going to fucking influence her to want to come see me. You understand what I'm saying? But if she's 5,000 miles away, she can take the attention without having the, the fucking temptation to come see me because she fucking can't. You understand? And so she gets the attention. Tinder still gets to do their thing and Bumble still gets to do their thing. Whatever decides to get to do their thing. And you're sitting there fucking, you know, being a, a goddamn time trick. You understand what I'm saying? Or a time hole, whatever. Shout out to, uh, I think Patrice O'Neill called it a time hole. You understand what I'm saying? And don't do no stupid shit like, well, I matched with this girl in fucking, uh, you know, Bahamas. And we've been talking for a while. So when this is over, I'm going to try to fly her out. Or No. Mm -mm. No. No. Understand that most, 99% of these women on here, that's hitting you up from thousands of miles away, that's attention to whore shit. Period. Period. That's attention horse shit, period. But um let me take I'm gonna take some calls real quick. The call the number is 646 481 3901. Call the number 646 481 3901. You guys can call up. You. How's it going, Lucario? Zach speaking, man. Chilling. What's going on, bro? Doing good. I'm doing good, man. Yeah. So, uh, I was <laughs> was listening to your show yesterday about like what it means to be a man. Mm. You know, like keeping your word, just like you know, being like just being like being willing to stick to yourself. Mm. But you know, another thing I also realized is that you know, I, I feel as if it's like a man's duty to live a painful suffering life mm. you know especially if you have like you know i don't know if you want children but like well, if you have, if you have people that depend on you or maybe you can depend on yourself you know like mm. sometimes they're going to need like to have a certain amount of character and present uh, present some strength and adversity to go through difficult times you know and mm. like it, it can just it can, it can just be hard and knowing that you're a person that i would like to say that like you know, that, uh, that you're a huge role model. Mm -hmm. Like, how are you able to push through those like times when you, when you really need to present the most adversity, whether it's physical or mental? You say that again. Hey, I'm saying so. Like, I know that you're a, a person who I would consider a role model. Mm -hmm. You know, but like when it's when you, when you have to deal with you know like tough times, like how are you able to you know present like adversity? and strength, you know, whether it's physical or, or, or mental? I mean, usually what it is, 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 is you know, for, for me, what it is, is that I don't, um, how do I put this? It's the way that I look at life. Like, I, I don't, I don't really take life that seriously. You understand? And so what I mean is, is that, um, I understand that all of this could end at any moment. So I just enjoy the moment. You feel what I'm saying? So I just enjoy the moment. You feel me? So if so the thing is is that when I'm enjoying the moment, what happens is is that I don't uh stress any one particular thing that happens because the shit's gonna it's gonna pass. You understand what I'm saying? Like all like anything that you're think about something you was mad about eight years ago. You understand what I'm saying? You probably don't even think about that shit right now, or it doesn't pertain to what the fuck is happening with you exactly at this moment. So you don't give, it's like, you don't give a fuck. You almost look at it sometimes and be like, yeah, why was I so upset about that shit? Or why was I, you know, feeling so down about, like, it, 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 in that moment, it felt crazy because you were so attached to what was going on in at, at that time. But now when you look back on it at the moment, at this moment, you're looking at it like that don't even matter. So 
I look at shit like I'm living in the moment. I, I enjoy the moments and I don't necessarily um, take the shit too seriously. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised that you you would say that. Like, you know, like you you enjoy it. You know, because again, like that's like like I wish I can enjoy my life. You know, it's just I've just been through so much. Like, you know, like traps. So it's like mm-hmm. I've never really had a moment where I can just sit back and say, like, damn, like I'm really like living like in the present. Like I'm always thinking about like how my life's supposed to be like in the future 10, 15 years or not because I'm just all, I'm always dealing with pain, man. But I, like I said, I feel like that's, that's what makes you a man, you know, not really doing stuff based on both of your emotions. You're right, yeah, you like, gotta, you gotta push like, through, you just gotta push through exactly. and you gotta just like, you know, just exactly. keep this shit pushing. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? But yo, bro, I, I, I got a, I got a I, crazy amount of calls, my dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to holler at you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, yeah, I'll check you out. All right, peace. All right, uh, so let's see. Five one zero. Hold on, let me get you. Yo, yo, what's popping? Who this? Hey, what's up, man? It's Oak Town's finest. What's I'm going on, there. bro? How's it going? Chilling, chilling. What's the deal? Hey, so I'm on the date map like you. I'm on the Tinder and Bumble and Hinge. I just want to know, like, when you send in the first message, like, let her know what's up. Like, how long you should give her? I I was doing like 24 hours. I just want to see if that that's good enough, or like, should I just? Just send a message and just, you know, if she answers, she answers. If she don't, she don't. So, so you're saying how long should you wait to respond? Or, like, like what do you mean? Like, no, because I'm, I'm, I'm on Tinder. I, we match. Mm. And then I send the first message. Right. And, like, usually I've been giving her, like, 24 hours. But mm. I just want to see, like, if you recommend longer than that or just, like, send a message and just forget about it and keep moving. I just want to see, like, you know, before I, you know, I match it. Usually, I give it about twenty four hours, and I just go ahead and just delete the, the whole thread. Nah, well, this is the thing. You don't even the, you don't even really need to delete it. Just just let it stay there. You feel what I'm saying? Because all you needed because you're giving too much energy to worrying about her getting back, and if she don't get back, and then you understand what I'm saying? Like, all you need to do if you match with a chick, send her a message. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you want to hit, if you want to send her a message, and then you leave it alone. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, what happens oh, okay. is. Because what happens is sometimes a chick will get back to you right away. Sometimes a chick may get back to you in a day. Some chicks, I remember I, I, I matched with this chick maybe, shit, it was like, uh, well, I matched with her one time. I sent her a message, and she didn't get back to me uh, like till a month later. You understand what I'm saying? And so, oh, okay, got you. All right. I'm, so I was thinking that I'd be able to like, put too much effort into it, like, you know, like giving her a certain amount of time. And just, yeah, don't even worry about it. You don't even got to worry about it. As soon as you send the message, she's out of your mind. Don't even think about her. It's done. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and and does she got to respond back to you? If she don't respond back to you, then it's, it is what it is. But it, but you still have it there. So if she does respond, then you could see what could, what could pop off. You see what I'm saying? Because what you got to understand is is that um, sometimes what will happen is too is that let's say, for example, because certain chicks, what they'll do is they will not necessarily be on the app in certain situations if they, they've been really fucking with a dude. Meaning, like, let's say she's been dealing with some dude for a few months. So she maybe, uh, you know, just wasn't fucking with the app. And then she gets back on the app after all the shit is done. And then she fucking matched you or whatever. And then it's like, oh, let me hit up this guy now or whatever it is. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's not really anything you need to think about. All you need to do is send your message and then keep it pushing. That's it. Okay, okay. I'll just start doing that thing. So I was doing that before, and I was like, you know, maybe I can go ahead and just send a message, just, you know, move on to the next shit, you know, like whoever responds, responds, and we're doing it, don't then. Right, so right. But the thing is, you don't want to, you don't want to be sending double messages if a chick, like if a chick ain't message you back, you don't want to hit her back and be like, hey, what's up? Like, what? No, you don't want to do none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's supposed to be you message her, she messages you, you message her, you understand, back and forth. That's it. Okay. None of this double like, cause I, I I know dudes who be sending like five messages and the chick they never message them back at all, and they keep messaging the chick. That shit is you don't need to do none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? No, that makes sense. But thanks for clearing that up. I'm gonna start doing that thing. All right. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks for the donation, my brother. All right. No problem, bro. All right, man. I'm holla. All right. Shout out to uh, Shabazz for the three dollar donation. Appreciate you, man. But yeah, that's the thing, man, with these online fucking uh, joints. Do not let these chicks waste time. Don't waste time. Get to the fucking point. You know what I'm saying? 
Because, like, right now, right now, this is the perfect time to set up shit with chicks online. But don't let them waste your fucking time. That's all I'm saying. Do not let them waste the time. Yo, what's poppin'? Hey, this is Jason from Jersey. What's going on, bro? Yeah, I I just wanted to just chime in on the topic mm. of what you were talking about with the girls wasting your time on Tinder. Mm-hmm. I mean, what it sounds like is that it sounds like that could lead to like some catfishing stuff. Because mm. I've seen shows on catfish and pretty much they have people like talking for like back and forth for a couple of years even. Mm. And it's like they'll come up with a, a if, and then when they want to try and FaceTime, mm. they'll come up with like some lame excuses. Mm. And this is what you're talking about right here. Mm. So for me, my policy is this. If I were to go online, I'll just be like, you want to talk online and you're like very close by. If you don't give me any contact information for like, you know, after an hour of talking. Hour of talking? I mean, <laughs> not an hour. I mean, just, or maybe 40, or maybe a half hour or something, then it's goodbye. That's how I see it. What do you think? Nah, all you got to do is on, when you get on the site, when you, when you match with a girl, right? Yeah. This, 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 is what you, this is all you guys got to do, especially for now when this whole quarantine shit. You match yeah. with a chick, be like, hey, what's good? When are you free mm-hmm. to get on a FaceTime so we could, so we could talk? That's yeah. all you got to do. Is, that's first message. Yeah. Hey, what's up? When are you free to get on FaceTime so we could talk? Okay, okay. That's it. That's it. Because you want, you want her it. to respond to that. And then, and then yeah. she's like, oh, I'm free today. I'm free tomorrow. Cool. Here's my number. Uh, text me your number, and then we'll, we'll set that up. Yeah. That's okay. it. I got to get Tinder, by the way. I, I was more relating it to, like, you know, before Tinder when they had, like, little chat logs and stuff. Oh, that, nah, nah. You got to get up to date, bro. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I mostly, I, I told you, I met, I met girls why, like, mostly at uh, functions and stuff. But, right. Yeah, but, but I just want to just chime in and say that subject, the way you're talking about mm. where girls try and do um, attention whoring and stuff, mm. it's, it sounds like it sounds like it's like from the show Catfish. Right. When either a dude or a girl talks to a guy mm. and they talk to them for like two to three years. Right, And then right. they come up with a with a lame excuse saying like when they want to do face, I'm like, oh, well, my camera broke and all that stuff. I'm right. like, come on. Right. I even saw one case where a dude catfished a girl and he was down in Florida and this lady was all the way up in Long Island. Mm. And, she t- and she was chatting with them on the online logs for about a year and stuff. So- mm. And pretty much, pretty much, it was just back and forth and back and forth. Mm-hmm. And, you see that? And that's, why, know, and that's why I tell motherfuckers, met, don't go back and forth. Act like didn't care. Yeah, I'm like, you waste the time right there, so that's bad. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Bad. That's why I'm telling you guys, don't go back and forth with these with these women. Like, you, you match with them, you set up the FaceTime mm-hmm. real quick, and then just get yeah. to that shit real quick. So you, you ain't got to be going back and forth and doing all this other stuff. Because, again, they will waste your motherfucking time if you let them. But, yo, bro, appreciate the call, my brother. Yeah, I gotta yeah, get a few more of these, man. I'm going to holler. All right? All right. All right. All right, what's popping? Who's this? Hey, what's up, Lucario? What's going on, man? I'm doing good. I'm just, uh, I got a question about, like, on the, you, I hear you guys talking about the Tinder and stuff. Right. Uh, what about, like, the gifs and stuff, like, when you're trying to respond to them or whatever on Tinder? Mm-hmm. Like, are those good to use, or, I mean, do you think that's bad? You talking about those, those, like, little fucking, what is it called, the gifs, those, those little animated yeah, the things? Yeah, the gifs. Nah, don't, yeah. don't, don't do none of that shit. Just, it's straight. Straight business, bro. Like, let, we matched. Yo, what you doing later? Let's get on FaceTime. You understand? I said, like, when are you free? Yeah. So we get on FaceTime. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? You want to cut out as much bullshit as possible. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to it comes to these chicks. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, because the thing is, like, even when I was talking to these girls to figure out why the fuck are you contacting me thousands of miles away? That already was mm-hmm. a lot of fucking attention I was giving them because I had to get that out of them. And they were still giving me uh, goofy ass answers. I'm like, yo, you in, you in fucking Sweden. Why are you hollering at me in New York? She's like, oh, because I love New York. What the fuck they got to do with, 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 with you hollering at me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I mean? So it's just like, yo. Yeah. So, so, so the thing is, is that when you, when you match with a girl and she's close to you 
right? Be like, hey, listen, yeah. when are you free so we can get on FaceTime and, and, and talk? That's it. You ain't got to send yeah. no fucking emojis, no gifts, no none of that shit. Why well, well, I'm asking though, Lucario, mm. is because like sometimes like I don't know how a way to respond to them on there because like sometimes they won't even they won't even message back. Like so, like mm. I'm over here trying to look for the perfect thing to say. Uh, yeah, there ain't no like, perfect thing to say. Don't. There ain't no perfect thing to mm-hmm. say. There is no perfect like, thing to say. Sometimes, like, is complimenting them bad? Like, necessarily? No, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. Yeah. If the girl wants to respond to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's going to send you a message. Period. Sometimes they send you a message first. Yeah. Sometimes they send you a message after you send them a message. There's no perfect yeah. thing to say. What I'm telling you, though, is, is that... The point is to get them off the site and, yeah. and, and talking to you on the phone. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's the point. You feel what I mean? So, so what I'm saying mm-hmm. is there's no perfect thing to say to get them to respond. Because this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mo- there's going to be, let's say you matched with 20 girls this week, right? Yeah. And you messaged all of them, right? You just sent all of them a message. You'll probably mm-hmm. get like seven of them that's going to hit you back. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So there's always going to be a, a majority of women that no matter what the fuck you say, you could have crafted a message from God. You could have said, yo, Jesus Christ, the, our Lord and Savior, uh, told me to send you this. And and she still won't fucking respond to you. It, it, this, you understand what I'm saying? So there's yeah. no perfect thing. It's just that if the girl wants to yeah. respond to you or not. So once the girl responds to you, all you're doing is setting up the joint. You understand? Setting it up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, like, see, I caught a, uh, I had one on there that I got off of Tinder, mm. and, uh, she, she hit me up saying that mm. we can hang or whatever, then the next thing I know, like, I, I, I set it up for a Saturday, mm. and, like, I messaged her Tuesday talking about this, mm. and then the next thing I know, like, that day, uh, like, I set it up, I asked her, I was like, I confirmed, basically, mm. we said, we good to hang out today, mm. you know, and then she's talking about I had a virus. And that I got it when I was in New Orleans and shit like that. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like it's just some some weird shit. So she said. So she <laughs> she said she caught the corona. Yeah, like she didn't say none of that shit before the the day I was setting it up. I told her let's hang out Saturday. <sighs> she didn't say none. Of that Yo, shit. listen, she listen. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying though. At this point, at this point. What I'm telling you guys is the best course of action. Yeah. Don't even worry about meeting up with a bunch of chicks. You understand? If you're going to meet with some chicks, yeah. meet with the chicks that you already been fucking with. Like your, the chicks you've been fucking with already before the coronavirus. Hopefully you got some chicks you've been fucking with before the coronavirus. So fuck with those girls and meet up with them, have sex with them. And then any new girls you're talking to online, just set it up for, mm-hmm. when, for when the shit dies down. So all you got to do is get them to FaceTime you. Once you're on the FaceTime, be like, listen... Tell them, be like, listen, mm-hmm. I'm going to save your number in my phone. Once all of this dies down, I'm going to holler back at you. And we're going to go out and we're going to yeah. chill and we're going to get it popping. That's it. Yeah. That's what you got to yeah, do. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Yeah, I'll go. Go. Uh, okay. Whenever chicks be asking what are we going to do, mm. like, what's the good response to that? Do you Should you be honest from that jump on? What do you want to do, what? Do 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 with her? Have sex, of course. Okay, so this is what you, this is what you do. If she says, what do you want to do when you want to have sex with her? Tell her, hey, yeah. here's my number. Text me or call, call me right now. We'll talk about what you're going to do. All right. And then once she get on the phone with you, either on the FaceTime or just on the phone, that's when you tell her, hey, listen, uh, this is what we're going to do. I want you to come through to the spot, and I want to pull your panties down, and I want to fuck the shit out of you from behind, and then whatever, whatever, however you want to say it. But you let her know through the, mm-hmm. the, the call. You understand what I'm saying? So whenever you're trying to talk about sex with the chick, get her off the app mm-hmm. first. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Because one, yeah. when you get her off the app and she's willing to give you the number or uh, converse with you on the phone, that's already a next mm-hmm. step in her showing some sort of interest. You see what I mean? Yeah. And so once she's on the yeah. phone with you and you're talking to her, you understand what I'm saying? You get a feel for how... Because look, when you FaceTime a girl, right? You can see in her yeah. eyes, you can see in her eyes if she's attracted to you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can see if she's feeling the conversation or whatever. So even from that point, yeah. you can say, listen, you know, like, you know, look, when you come over, you know, I see that you, you, you're already like 
undressing me with your eyes and fantasizing about yeah. getting me in bed. So this is what we're going to do. When you come through, I'm going to get you naked and we're going to get it popping. You understand what I'm saying? That's, gonna, yeah. that's yeah. going to be more uh, beneficial for you and it's going to click more than just texting it over on Tinder. Like, So you want to get off Tinder. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, then, and then tell her all of that shit. Now, if you wanted to just, let's say, go get a drink, if she says, hey, you want, mm-hmm. what are we going to do? You could text her that, hey, we're going to go get a drink. You know, give me your information. I'll, we'll set it up or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? But if it's about sex, yeah. talk to her about the sex. You understand what I'm saying? She, let her hear it verbally yeah. through your tone and through what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I see. All right, All right. I appreciate it, Lucario. All right, man. I'm hollow. All right. All right. Peace. Bye-bye. Man. That shit crazy. But yeah, that, that's the thing, man. Hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, it's JC from Upstate. What's, what's going on, fam? What's the deal? Yo, for one, I don't want nobody from the fucking city coming up here at all. It's upstate New York. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> they try they try to they have motherfuckers sit down there, they try to send motherfuckers up here and shit. Uh carry up, fuck that. I'm feeling good, bro. I know what they talking about, but go ahead. What you? <laughs> nah, we fucking y'all consider us all Canadians and shit. I'm, still, I'm sure I'm a true New Yorker too, man. I feel you. <laughs> so what's good with you though? No, nah, I got. I disagree with something you was you was talking on about uh, the Canadians and shit. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. You know what I mean? Fucking only the chick that you fuck with, you was fucking with before this shit happened. I'm like, nah. Mm-hmm. If you hitting up a chick on Tinder, and you should be wanting to smash them, not just to fucking do this shit after this shit's over with. No, but weren't you just saying don't come upstate because we sick? I don't know. I don't want no bitches from New York City. I didn't, I didn't say that. I'm saying that I'm talking about period within your, your uh, mile radius and shit. No, but what I'm saying is the point is people saying that people need to stay their ass home and not meet up with people because they're not trying to catch the virus. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of women who ain't going to want to meet up with you anyway at this point. This is what I'm trying to say. Now, if that's the case where they want to meet up and whatever, and that and you want to do that, that's on you. But what I'm saying is, is that uh, right now, a lot of chicks, they're so fucking caught up with the whole coronavirus shit, and they're all scared, and they they on, on that type of shit, so they're not even trying to uh, really make it happen. Now, it doesn't mean you can't make it happen. You understand? But what I'm saying is, is that a lot of them are going to... You know, make it a big deal. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Well, then, well, then fuck them chicks. Cause this chicks out here who who ain't walking around with the mask and the gloves and shit on. Right. Like no, I I know no no. Listen, listen, listen. I, I bro, I feel you. What I'm saying though is this: is that uh, you know, me being a a a a, a person broadcasting. You understand? I'm supposed to tell you to stay inside. You feel me? But. I'm not gonna tell you what what I, what I really feel, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what they saying. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Like, no, no, no. Nah, nah, fuck that, nigga. Tell me what you really feel. Fuck that, I nigga. I ain't tell you what. The fuck you mean? You not? Nah, I ain't telling tell you what I really feel, nigga. You crazy? The fuck you mean? You I I ain't tell you what I really feel on these airwaves. Supposed to be indirect and shit. I I ain't tell you what I what I feel on these airwaves. You crazy? I'm not telling you what I feel uh-huh. on these airwaves. They, niggas ain't ready for that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to have niggas knocking on my door. You feel what I'm saying? Man, niggas, niggas, niggas respect you, Kurt. Niggas be knocking on your fucking door, man. Trust me, trust me. You, you think? <laughs> so all I'm saying is, Look, all I'm saying is, do think for yourself and do whatever you feel is best for you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. That's but all I'm gonna say. Macario, this is this is the thing. Mm-hmm. Now you, you and Miles, right? Mm-hmm. You guys have literally said this is the easiest time. Right. For guys to get laid, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. There, there's no, there's nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. They go to the bars, right? They go to the clubs, right? The gay bars, mm-hmm. none of that <laughs> shit. They bars. go nowhere. Arcadia, bowling, all that shit's closed, right? So I'm all about fucking and getting in that pussy. That's mm-hmm. all. I'm, that's all I'm worried about. I'm, get, I'm right. worried about getting the apple pie mm-hmm. with some ice cream on the top. Mm-hmm. Vanilla ice cream on top. Right. That's what I'm saying. So they should be wanting to fuck. If they don't want to fuck, then fuck them. I'm not mm-hmm. doing. Oh, I'm gonna hit you up after this shit's over with. You don't know when this shit's over. What the fuck you mean? No, but that's what I'm. This what I. Right this, this is not what you're taking. You're not taking this into account. What I'm telling you is, is that there's gonna be a lot of women. I'm talking about. There's gonna be like ninety some percent of the women you trying to smash, who's going to give you a hard fucking time, 
because of the coronavirus shit. So, for example, well, fuck them kids, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is what I'm. This is what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You're not. You're not listening. What I'm saying is fuck this. Them. What I'm saying is this. For example, shout out to uh, Mr. Limba Channel. He talked about this long time ago, where he said women either listen to you or society. Right. So now, oh what God. I'm saying. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me finish. So what I'm saying is, is that. What I'm saying is that a lot of women right now. They're so caught up into listening to society. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is you can still you can still get a chick and to, to, to fuck with you and all of that if you want to do that. You can still uh put in that effort and that work. What I'm telling you though is is that you know you you, you gotta play the numbers game regardless. But now you gotta play the numbers game on steroids. You understand what I'm saying? Oh hell yeah. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You feel what I mean? Because I, I, I told you, I had to cut a, few, a, a couple chicks off. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I'm trying to, you know, look for a first of benefits when this shit's over with. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm not about that shit. I'm trying to fuck right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucking on your time. I'm right. fucking on my time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I mean, hey, that's what I'm saying. Shit. You got to do what you got to do. I'm just telling you that the reality of the situation is these chicks... There is it's it's just mad goofy. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is this. Macario. This is what, hold on. This is what I'm saying. Once this shit dies down, because I, I I I'm I'm hoping this shit dies down sooner or later, sooner than later. But what I'm saying is this: is that once this shit die down, right? And this and this is a lesson for everybody. That's that's you know of what's going on. And and my dude, me and my dude Miles Cunningham talking about this on the Confidence Show. If you if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. So what I mean is this. If you're the type of dude who's racking up the numbers now, once the shit dies down, right, you have a bunch of numbers to get at. Now, if you're not racking up the numbers, right, what happens is, is that when the shit dies down, you're still starting at square one. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that is that right now what happens is that since there's so many there's so much access to women and you can still meet them and do that if that's the thing you want to do and that's that's how you want to do this shit what i'm saying is is that as of right now where everyone's staying in the house and everybody's all scared and shit you got to understand that um racking up the numbers now is for when the shit dies down you you're gonna have an abundance of chicks to holler at asap who's ready to get dick asap you feel what i'm saying so that's all i'm saying i would Whoa, 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 whoa! I wouldn't say a abundance. I would say I would say a, an abundance of time wasters and attention whores. No, 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 no! But see, this is what I'm saying. This no, is what I'm, this is, hold no, on. This, how how would they waste your time? How they waste your time? Why? How? No, because I'm saying this because when when the shit's over with, mm -hmm. they're gonna be like, "Oh, fuck out of here! We can all go out and shit, and now we can be, be we can turn into our real selves now, even though they want the dick right now." No, 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 but they always wanted the dick. They always wanted the dick. But see, that that depends on. But see, that depends on you, though. That depends on you being it, being consistent. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So if you tell a girl, hey, if you if you tell a girl, hey, listen, when this is all over, I'm gonna take you out to dinner. That's on you. Ain't nobody say you got to take the chick out to dinner. Be like, listen, when this is all over, you gonna come through and we gonna hook up. You, you understand what I'm saying? Malacario. What? Why, why can't you hook up with them right now on your terms, though? That's what I I'm said, saying. bro, you're, you're not you're, listening. You're not listening. Up. You're not listening. What I'm saying is, is that 90-something percent of the women are not going to want to make it happen now because they're scared. Do you not understand that? Macario, <laughs> how, do you, how do you know what 90% of women want? Oh, my Jesus. Macario, I'm look, asking you a question. Bro. How do you know? What ninety percent of the women want, bro? Like do you four, hold on, hold on? Do you four, wait, wait? Do you do you know what I do for a living? What do you do, nigga? Come on, bro. <laughs> nah, Are you trolling now? You trolling now, right? This dude nah, trolling. I I, I this nigga I trolling. Like this nigga trolling Ooh. now. He, he he just trolling. I told him I already had a headache from from talking to all these women. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and this nigga's trolling. <laughs> it's like <laughs> talking about how you know what. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? What's going on, little Kyle? This is Aaron. What's going on, bro? And much man is hanging out at the crib right now. I feel you. I feel you. So yeah. what's good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just had a question. Uh, 
I just recently hit this hit this joint. Mm. I just recently hit her. Um, and so, you know, the next day, you know, she called me and we, you know, text the next day and stuff. Mm. So, you know, I want to smash her again. Mm. So I want to smash her again. I want to smash her again basically the next day. Mm. So that night I was like, um, so that night I was like, you know, is it cool if I come over again? Mm. And then uh, she was like, oh, you know, I came because uh my sister doesn't want no company over or whatever i guess she lived with her sister mm. so you know that already that sounds like a bullshit excuse right, right? so it's but so i'm like okay that's cool mm. so then uh the next day you know she texts me you know good morning blah blah we talking and everything mm. um so what should, what, what should i do you think i should charge that to the game like mm. we, so wait so it was so so the chick so when did you smash it the first time? Uh, talking about from today. Yeah. Uh, I probably smashed her probably four days ago. And so, and and that was that was the only time you smashed her, or you smashed her more than once? No, I only smashed her one time. Okay, and now she's saying that she can't, you 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 can't, she can't come over, or you can't, she can't see you because of what her sister? Yeah, I guess she stayed with her sister, and she said her sister didn't want have, no, her to have no company over the next day. Mm -hmm. that, that's when I asked her to come over. Asked to come over the next day. And why? Why she can't come over to you? I never asked her if she could come to me. So why don't you tell ask her to come see you then? Uh, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell her to come see you now. If she's on some other shit, well, oh, I can't see you because then it's like at that point, charges to the game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Like, like keep that shit pushing. Okay, she got kids too. Oh my Jesus! So, <laughs> I so I could kind of see that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try that. I'll just see if she. Yeah, through. just holler and tell her to come through. And if she ain't coming through, then just keep that shit pushing. And remember, keep this shit simple, man. It's like yo, you know, either she is or she ain't. And and if she ain't, then you just keep this shit moving. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And I got one more question. Right. Uh, a lot of times, like a little trend, I notice sometimes I'll be fucking with these chicks, and I'll you know. I have a, you know, put them on the first night or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm trying to set up, you know, trying to smash them again. And sometimes what they'll do, like, I'll be like, you know, I'll be like, come through, mm -hmm. you know. And then they'll, they may say something like, um, you know, like, you don't want to, like, take, you know, go out anywhere with mm -hmm. me. Like, mm -hmm. you know, can we go out? Like, can we do, you know what I mean? Like, they try to right. go out instead of me, instead of just coming to my house. Mm hmm uh, what do you think that is? You think that's just some attention one type shit? Like no, well, that, that's because that's because they fucked you, and they now don't want to just be a fuck buddy. They want more shit. You understand? Because they like you. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? And so yeah. that's why they'll try to do the whole thing of oh let's let's hang out and let's do this and let's do that because usually what they'll do is is that they'll do it the other way, meaning they'll hang out with you and do all the other shit and then wait to give you pussy. But then, because they are, um, you know, because they, they were that sexually attracted to you, they had sex with you, but now they're caught up in the damn. I don't, I didn't already fuck them. So now, I'm going to try to hopefully get him to take me out so he just doesn't see me as a fuck buddy. Because I want more from him than just sex. I want, I want to, you know, hang out with him and be with him and all that other shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What would you do in that situation? Nah, just keep hitting him up and be like, yo, come through to the crib. You feel what I'm saying? And if she and if she ain't trying to come through, then you just charge her to the game. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't go. What, what if you don't mind going out with him though? I mean, if you don't mind, then that then go out with him. But what I'm saying is, again, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you don't mind going out with them, then go out with them. But if you if you're sitting there like I don't want to go out with this chick, I just want to smash, then just tell her to come through and smash. So it all depends on what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, yeah, this okay. is that if you are trying to smash. And then they're like, hey, let's go out. And then you go out because they want to go out. Then then you fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? Because now yeah, because yeah. now what happens is is that it seems like you're doing what they want you to do. You understand what I'm saying? Versus you doing what you want to do with them. Because it's not like you called her up and said, hey, uh, what you doing Friday? Let's go out. I'm going to take you to the movies or some shit. You didn't tell her that. She's the one telling you that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay, but like, sometimes, like I said, like, if they'll be like, because I called the other day, mm -hmm. and I was saying that I it was some chick, this other chick that I ended up smashing, and she wanted to go, 
out, you know, she wanted to go get some food after we fucked in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, me personally, I didn't mind. I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Like, it wasn't like, I don't want to do this, you know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, food. But you was kind of saying that I should have went to get food with her, you know? So you saying you smashed the chick and then you spent the night with her? Yeah, yeah, I smashed. She spent the night at my crib. Oh, well, see, you can't, you got it. You can't be letting these girls spend the night at your crib like that, bro. For real? You understand what I'm saying? Like, listen. They can't spend the night. Say, well, say that again. They can't spend the night. I mean, it's not that good to do that because, again, that's part. See, you got to understand something. You can't just. Okay, let's okay. Let's let's say it like this. Let's say it like this, right? Mm -hmm. If I if I if I if I go if I take you to a pizza store that I like, I'd be like, yo, bro, let's go to get some pizza. I know this cool spot up the block. They pizza's fire, right? So me and you go to the store. We get some pizza. We eat the pizza, and that's and we just do out. We just eat out pizza, and then I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna see you later. We give each other a dap, and then we bounce, right? Mm -hmm. If I take a girl. To that same pizza spot, right? And then, and all you're going to do, and this is what you're going to do. If you go home or you go somewhere and they say, oh, what you do this morning? Oh, I just went to chill. We was, I was at Locario. We, we went to get some pizza and now I'm about to do some work or whatever, right? Now, if I do the same exact thing with a chick, I tell the chick, I say, yo, this is dope ass pizza spot I love going to. Let's go there and get some pizza, right? And I take her to get some pizza. Guess what she going to say to her friends? Oh my God, girl! You know what he did? He took me to his favorite pizza spot. Oh my God! That mean, girl, that mean he really like you. Oh shit! You, you understand what I'm saying? Women don't look at shit regular. It always means some other fucking shit. So when you're letting a girl sleep at your house, that's not you just letting her spend the night. You understand what I'm saying? That means some shit. You understand what I mean? And so that and so now what happens is is that that carries over to. The reason why she probably was like, oh, let's go get some food. You understand what I'm saying? Because she felt comfortable enough to even say that in the first place because you later you let her spend the night. You understand what I'm saying? See, when you first meet chicks, remember, you got you have to deal with them in levels. You understand what I'm saying? Or they're not going to respect anything. And they, so what I mean is, is that when you first meet a chick, right, it's 99% of your shit should just be fucking it sh that's what it should be, right? Okay. Now, again, if you want to go out and do do other shit because that's how you are, that's cool because that's how you get down and that's the type of person you are. But this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying, it sounds like because you sound like the type of dude that like to, um, that like to that like the company of chicks. Because I'm I'm kind of like that too, where I also yeah. like to do other shit just besides fucking a girl all day. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. but this is the key, is that. A chick still has to earn getting all that extra shit. You understand what I'm saying? So when you first dealing with, when I'm first dealing with a chick, yeah, we could probably go get some drinks or whatever for the for the first time, so we could fill each other out, see what the vibe is, right? Yeah. But after that, we fucking, and then I, I leave you or you leave me, then I see you again and we start fucking, and then I leave you and you leave me, we see something and we keep fucking. Now, as I see you consistently fucking me and and being cool and being chill, then I move you up to the next level. We fucking, but also, hey, let's go get something to eat. Oh, hey, you know what? It's late. Spend the night at my crib, right? Because now it's a different. You're, you're, you're. It's gradually going in that direction. Like I'm not just giving you the fucking shit um, now. Because if I give you the shit now, that then what happens is there's no appreciation for the shit that I'm giving you. You understand what I'm saying? Is you got you got to you got to understand that there's levels to the shit when you're dealing with these chicks. Don't just be like you know, oh yeah, spend the night. Let's go get some eat, blah blah. Like all this extra shit all the time. That's not really that good when you're just giving the chick the shit when she hasn't done anything to prove that she's worth getting all that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like when, um, you know, if you had a job or something, your job ain't gonna fucking. Uh, have you work an entry level on Monday and then have you be the manager on fucking Friday and then have you be the fucking vice president next week? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it takes it takes time for that to, to progress. And so what happens is, is that when you do it like that, she's actually more appreciative and she acts more right because in her mind, it this she's earned where it's going versus you just give it. It's just like anything else. When you just give somebody some shit, you know, they don't, they don't, really appreciate what it took to get it because they didn't need to do anything to get the thing they got. You feel what I'm saying? 
That's yeah. all. I'm, that's all I'm saying to you. So now, again, if you, if you're the type of dude who that's just how you rock, that's part of your your program. Then cool. Then you could sort of do it that way. But you still have to have some sort of, some sort of level. So even let's say if if the chick spend a the night, then fuck it. Let her spend the night, but as soon as the sunrise, girl, you got to go. You got to go. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't be letting her stay the whole afternoon walking around in her underwear, chilling at your house like she's, you know, part of your, your situation. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't do none of that shit. Because that, that's, that's how you start getting chicks who start feeling entitled, chicks who start disrespecting you after a while because they had nothing there that was, you, know, you understand what I'm saying, that, that they needed to work at to get to that level in your situation. You see what I'm saying? Mm, okay, I feel you that. You feel me? I feel that. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I just wanted to say, uh, yeah, uh, big stain in the chat. Uh, you don't get no bitches. And uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Carl, I, I appreciate the game, fam. <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you, man. I'm holla. All right. All right. Peace. Peace. Y'all, y'all be always arguing in the chat room. Right? Y'all niggas is hilarious. All right, yo, what's popping? Who this? Yeah. You. Hello. What's going on? Who's this? Uh, Terrell. I'm from Louisiana. What's going on, bro? I'm not. We did nothing. I ain't gonna lie. I just watch the show from time to time. All right. Just What's for going a couple on? pointers. But uh, I just got a question. Do you All feel right. like it's harder now to have sex with girls or easier? My just the answer for me. I feel like it's easier, but I want to ask you since you're older. Harder as far as what? What do you mean? Just getting, just having sex with girls. Just in general. Yeah. Nah, it's, 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 well, the thing is, it's not necessarily that it's been harder or easier at any point in time. It just depends right. on the guy. Some guys, it's easier for them to get it. Some guys, it's harder for them to get it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not that there's anything inherently harder or easier. It just depends on the dude asking a question or, or, or making a statement. But what, 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 what's your thoughts on all that? I mean, personally, I mean, I just feel like it's easier. Mm. In my opinion, but I mean, mm. that's just me. But I don't have a problem getting pussy. Mm. But here's my next question. Mm. You have an average guy. He's mm. probably average looking. I don't. I wouldn't say he's attractive. Let's just say he's average. Mm. His body isn't where it needs to be. His mm. body's below average. Mm. He's just an average looking fellow. He's black. All he shoots for is white girls. I'm just giving you a scenario. You tell me. This is not me, I swear. All he shoots for is white girls. Mm. He literally won't listen to me when I say it's time to get his body together. And we live down south. In Louisiana. So, what do you think about that? So, you're saying that is is this dude who, his uh, his you know, he's an average dude and he wants to get with white girls. Yes, like he barely gives black girls a chance. So it's like I already feel like he's he's setting himself back mm. already. Like he's making a little bit harder on himself. So, well, I'm confused. So, like, so you're saying that there's a there's a guy who wants to get with white girls and what's going on with him? He wants to get with those guys. He wants to get with he wants to get with girls, uh -huh. but preferably white girls. Uh -huh. But he's black. Mm -hmm. We're down south. We live in the south, obviously, which makes it a little bit harder. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's extremely hard, but it makes it a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. He's average looking. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, I would say he's a five or a six. Mm -hmm. But his body's a four. Mm -hmm. He won't listen to me. He might be listening because I think I heard him in the little in the little drop chat thing. Mm -hmm. So like he's the one to introduce me to this. What would you say to him? I mean, the thing is, is I mean, is he talking to these girls at all? When he talks, it's very brief. Like, I don't. It's like he's nervous or something. Like, I can't get him to get out of the nervous. Thing. I mean, overall, he just need to step up his game because it's not really about just white girls. It's about women in general. He he gonna have a hard time right. getting women in general if he not stepping his shit up. If he don't step up his mouthpiece, you know, if he works out, he'll get uh, in, in better it's shape. Help him, right? You understand what I'm saying? So, it's, you, go say it again. Would you, if you feel like with the numbers I've given you, mm. like about his looks and his body, do you feel like working out would help him if his mouthpiece game is a five? Do you feel like just working out would help him out? I mean, working out it's it's gonna it's gonna help him out as far as getting chicks to maybe to come to his way, right? No, to maybe check him out, but that's not gonna really help him out if his mouthpiece is garbage. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So it's like it's like this. It's like if I if I if I if I fucking uh. If you got a car that looks beat up, but I fucking get it some new rims and and do a nice paint job, but it don't it don't got no engine, it, the car ain't gonna go nowhere. 
You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it could look good, yeah. but if it don't got nothing inside, then it ain't gonna go nowhere. So it's the same thing. Like you got all of the things gotta be worked on. So it's not just his look. It gotta be the mouthpiece too. You feel what I'm saying? It gotta be the, that energy, that charisma. Every that's the that's the part of the, the the game that guys don't understand. And this is the funny part. See, a lot of times what happens is if you are you're a good looking dude, if you're a good looking dude, right? Mm-hmm. You'll get a lot of girls, you'll probably get a lot of girls checking for you on the front end, right? But what's gonna happen is is that there's gonna be there's gonna be a big fall off because you're, a lot of times your looks isn't enough to sustain to the point where you're going to get consistent sex. And on top of that, usually what's going to happen is, is that you'll probably not even get the hottest girls you want because a lot of, this is what a lot of good looking dudes do. Good looking guys like to coast on their looks. So they go for the easy targets, which is the average looking girls who are happy to be with him because they're like, well, he's hot and you know, so it's it's easier for them to get that that those him to get those girls. Now, what's, what's average to you, Mr. Lakari? I would say that's me. I wouldn't. I mean, I've got with hot girls. Don't get me wrong. I thought my girlfriend is extremely hot, mm-hmm. but I mean, I feel that, like I kind of feel like you're like saying that's me. But mm-hmm. what's average to you? Because average to me is not like just some. Average to me is like a like a seven. Yeah, I mean, it, but again, it depends on your taste and and, and feel like. Let's say. It, you know, for let's say for average to you was a six or a seven. You know, what I'm saying I would say average to me is yeah, like a like a, a six, maybe a six, six and a half, or even five. Yeah, That's like you're, you're not going no lower than a six, though, right? Say it again. Would you go lower than a six? I wouldn't, but I'm just asking. Nah, I mean, in my yeah, not in my in my opinion, I'm not gonna go lower than a six. Now, I have gone lower than a six times where I've I've smashed certain girls that were just like. You know, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? You feel what I'm saying? But in oh, ge- right. I've had those moments too. Right, and that's oh, what I'm saying. But in general, in general, what you you know, you want to go for girls that you think are cute to hot. You know, you understand know what I'm saying? In your opinion. But right. what I'm saying is this, is that a lot of times what guys think is they think they, they just try to work on their look. And then if you work on your look, but you don't work on your uh, mouthpiece and your, your, your confidence and all of that, it's the same as working on a car that has no engine. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to look good, but it's not going to get you nowhere in a lot. Of, you understand what I'm saying? Like, because this is the thing. You could look good, but what happens is, is that there's a lot of different things that can stop you from a woman meeting you to the time she's going to fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's the part guys don't understand. They think, well, if I just look good, that's that's it. No, it's, that's not it because... Women have no shortage of good-looking guys trying to get at them, especially with online dating and all this other stuff. That's nothing. So what happens is is that what differentiates you overall from every other guy, which is the thing that's going to make it stick. This is why a lot of times you could have guys who are average-looking, you know, that will take chicks from good-looking dudes all day because there's something about him that differentiates him from not only that good-looking guy, but all the guys around him. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And so that's, that's what game is about. It's about understanding what makes you you, what makes you unique, and that uniqueness is what makes you attractive. And that attractiveness is going to to attract certain women to you. But again, it's a combination of a lot of different things. So, so the thing is, is that when you have a combination of things that make you look attractive, then you're going to be more attractive than most dudes out there because you have a bunch of things that make you attractive. Versus if you just look good, yeah, you may be attractive because of your look, but you corny. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so a chick is going to be like, whatever. You understand? So it's like a, a dude who has everything is always going to beat you out when you just rely on strictly on the looks. That's why I always come down on dudes who's like, oh, it's just about the looks, just about the looks. It's not just about that. You feel what I'm saying? And this is what dudes don't be getting. Yeah, I've always felt like it's a two-part thing. Like, the looks will just get you the girl to come to you, but if you don't have the mouthpiece, then that won't get you to stay. Yeah, That's like, like it, it's the, the looks is going to get you get you the, get you you the attention, the gonna, but attention doesn't equal, door. attention does not equal sex all the time, and that's the thing. And, and most, most times it don't. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Most times it don't, because even when dudes see good-looking guys getting girls, a lot of times those guys are good-looking and they have a mouthpiece. And that's the part they don't that motherfuckers don't get, is, is that they're good looking and they got a mouthpiece, or they're good looking and that that guy is that girl specific type. 
You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he got a mouthpiece. Right. You feel what I mean? So it's all of that mm-hmm. shit combined, you know, and he's confident all that other stuff that, that makes the shit attractive. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is my last thing. I'm going to get off the line. I'm pretty sure you got something calling. But this, this is me and like this, I mean, I'm not going to stop doing it. I'm just going to tell you how I do it. But mm-hmm. I'm, I don't want to say I have game, but I have a system. Mm-hmm. Like, so literally I do the same thing with every girl, like, I get a lot of girls off Tinder. I heard you say, like, a few nights ago, you had, like, 16,000. I ain't gonna lie, I don't have that many. Mm-hmm. But I got about, like, literally close to 300. Mm-hmm. So I literally basically do the same thing. I don't do any gifts. I'll send them, like, a punchline at first. Mm-hmm. This honestly just depends on literally how it works, literally what their Tinder profile says. Because mm-hmm. I, I can't stick to my system every time. Right. It's, it's, it's literally, if the, if the profile says something about smoking, I like to smoke. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get off of my little punchline. I'm gonna go straight to smoking. Mm-hmm. But literally, like, how do you? Would you tell guys to find a system and stick to it? I try to tell my brother all the time, mm-hmm. like, stick to it. Like, find whatever works for you, mm-hmm. a system, and stick to it. But he, oh well, yeah, that's what that's what game is. That's what like game is. Huh? It's still is that's what game is. It's it's that system. It's the strategy. It's the way that you go about doing the thing to get you the result. The the problem though is is that unfortunately most guys have weak systems. That's that's why they be that's why they not you know they don't get the shit popping. So you gotta have that strong system. You gotta have that strong strategy. That strong game. So yeah, if whatever you're doing, if that's working for you to get the result, then do that. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, you you want to make sure that it's something that's working for you on that consistent basis. You see what I'm saying? Mm, I ain't gonna lie. It does work for me consistently, but I. It, I can't get everybody to do it. Like, this system isn't going to work for everybody. Well, yeah, like, that, that's, say, like, that's just how it is. 10, I'm an 8. So I wouldn't say I'm a dime or nothing, but I'd say I'm an 8. I was like, because like, I frequently ask girls back in the day. Mm. I don't ask them as much now, but I used to ask them back in the day. Mm. They said I was an 8, so I would literally just stick with that. Mm. But I, don't, I always tell people, ain't nobody passing up on 8. <laughs> like, they might pass up, but I'm talking about you're not going to get that many people passing up on 8. Right. There's not that many 10s in the world. Mm. But, uh... That's all. I just literally wanted to just say that about the system thing and just see, like, you know, your perspective. Hopefully that dude I was telling you about hopefully listen. Right. Now, I feel you, bro. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right? All right, dude. All right, Mahalo. Peace. All, all right, right, make sure you guys get those likes up. Got 224 people watching. Make sure you get them likes up. You, what's popping? Yo, what's popping? Who's this? It's Chris from Twitter. What's going on? I gave you. All right, so I have a question for. Her. Mm-hmm. So you know how you were talking about like self improvement, like doing the self improvement to improve your game overall. Mm-hmm. All right, so I've been doing like the self improvement, like for real, for real, for like a year and shit. Like no cap, I have been doing it for real. And um, I feel like when I go on an online dating, the chicks I get are chicks that I'm like. I personally feel that I'm more attractive than. Mm-hmm. Now I remember you said um, the chick has to feel like you're better than her to fuck with you, right? Well, equal or better, yeah. Equal or better, yeah. Mm. But I'm like, damn, like, like there has to be like a fucking limit, to, like to how high I feel like these chicks be reaching. Sh- I mean, in my opinion, I be feel like I'm more attractive. Like mm. appearance is better, better looking, like mm. um, more money, any anything. You feel me? Mm. So it's like, do I need to make the self improvement even like? times like 10 to get the chicks that I want. You feel mm-hmm. I me? Mean? Well, the thing is, you got to understand, when you're doing online dating, right, it's, it's a different, it's a different medium. So, the thing is, a girl, a, a lot of times, the girl can't really feel your essence unless y'all are actually in person talking, interacting. You see what I'm saying? So, there's only so much you could do on a dating site. So, now, you could get certain pictures and certain things to give off that presence, that image or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? But it's, but the thing is, is that online dating is not, it's not really the best um, indicator of, of that type of situation. You understand? Because one, you don't, you don't even know how the algorithm is, is setting your shit up. Meaning you don't know who, which girls are getting your fucking photos. You feel what I'm saying? So they could be girls that would actually be interested in you that you would be like, oh, this is on point, but they just don't, y'all never fucking cross paths on the algorithm. That's one. Two, uh-huh. what, two what happens is is that with the online dating, you're going to have um, way more women who are like average, you understand what I'm saying, to like cute, but not like super hot on it, on it like that. You understand what I'm saying? So, and why do you think that is? 
Because the the super hot ones don't need to be on it on it like that. You understand what I'm saying? And on top of that, they'll go on it just sort of for shits and giggles. You feel what I'm saying? Like well, you, you you said you said all, they all have options though. Say that again. You said they all have options though. Chick, average, hot. No, no, they anything. do. But what I'm but what I'm saying is this: is that what I'm saying is okay. Let's say for example, right? You mm-hmm. got a girl who's a ten, right? And you got a girl who's a seven. Yeah. Right, the seven is on Tinder and the ten is on Tinder, but guess what the difference between the seven and the ten is? What is it? The difference is the ten on in her Instagram DM, she got a nigga from Dubai saying, "I'll pay you twenty racks to come through and just chill on my boat." Yeah. Okay. So, so what I'm saying is, is that because the the ten has more access to other things popping off, right? She's not going to be as uh, 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 you know, wanting to be on Tinder as much as the seven. So this is why you're getting the seven so much. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is what oh, I'm talking. No, not even seven. I, I'd be happy with seven. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's what I'm, I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All I'm saying is, yeah. all I'm saying is, is that the, that's what I'm saying. The online thing is different because the the access is different. So yeah, you could get some dimes on Tinder, or whatever, whatever. But what I'm saying is, you gotta. Deal with the algorithm. The algorithm gotta send them your way. And two, um, two, you're 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 still in like indirectly dealing with with her dealing with you and the nigga trying to give her twenty racks. You understand what I'm saying? And so what I'm saying is is that if you were to meet uh that ten in person at a bar, you have way way more of a better situation to deal with in that situation to get her versus on Tinder. So what I'm saying is you can still get those type of girls, but just understand that it's a lot of times it's far and few in between on those apps because of all those different variables that go down. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, even women's attention yeah. span on, on those apps is, is 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 uh you know is not that long. But what you what you gonna say? I was gonna say the first point you brought up, which was um, it's because the algorithm. The algorithm might be fucking me up, and I don't even know about it. Right now, that is I I, I do believe. That had to do with it, but mm. I also remember that I be super liking chicks, mm. and oftentimes the ones that super like me back tend to be of a certain level of, of, of physical attractiveness. You mm. feel me? So it's kind of like, mm, well, why? Well, why are you super liking those girls in the first place? You know what I'm saying? No, no, because I had to test the shit out. I do like super like uh, the ones that I want to, mm. but it's like very rare that they super like you back, and you're like, okay, I let me super like this one. Although I may be biased because not all the not all the fucking like average or ugly ones super like me back. Not all of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's not like. But that's what. But that's what I'm saying. The like thing me. is, you're you're trying. This is what you gotta understand. You're you're the the whole online dating thing, right? Again, is because like you're super. Let's say you 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 see this ten, you're like, damn, she's bad. Let me um let me super like her, right? Uh huh. You and fifty other niggas super liked her today. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so this is what, this is what I'm trying to tell you, like, cause look, I like, okay, for example, I'll tell you, for example, for me, let's say if I'm on Tinder, right. And Mm -hmm. I just go hard on, let's say I I, I use Tinder for an hour and I'm just swiping on a bunch of, just a bunch of people. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, I'll get maybe like 30 matches in like today. I, I probably got like 35 matches today, just today. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm a dude. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. imagine a a, 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 a a fucking hot ass chick, how much matches she getting in one day. You understand what I'm saying? How many super likes and all that other crazy shit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, is that there's so much crowdedness in that fucking thing that it's it's a little bit more difficult. Now, again, it's not to say that you can't get shit popping. Just understand that just off sheer numbers, right? It's mm-hmm. going to be a harder, uh, you know, it's going to be harder to get shit popping with those chicks. Not because it's not because you can't, but because of sheer numbers. You understand? This is just math I'm talking about. Because it, because it's chicks. Do so, so, you think real life is like that different? Because it's way, it's way different. Life, no, 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 no. But listen, listen. In real life, niggas is pulling up too. Say that again. In real life, niggas is pulling up too. No, no, I know that. But to see the difference between real life and, and Tinder or, or being a person in the Tinder is that you got so many other variables to, to work with. You got your voice, 
You understand? You got your smell. You understand what I'm saying? You got the way you're talking to her, because he's talking in real time, right? You you got your you got to be you're you're able to like touch. You understand what I'm saying? There's so much other different things that in real time that you can do that you can't do on Tinder. You understand what I'm saying? That it's it's yeah. it's damn near impossible. So this is what I'm saying. Where and and on top of that, when you're talking to the girl in person, it's just you and her. So the attention is already. Um, you know, it, it, it's or you can't even compare the the attention that she's gonna get, or as far as the um the focus she's gonna get from you and her together versus on the damn app. And also, you gotta understand that the culture of dealing with online dating and the apps there's there's not there's not enough investment in that situation. So therefore, because there's not enough investment, that also makes shit harder. For uh, shit to go down. This is why I tell guys to get to the point quickly and get them off the app quickly. Because even the the act of getting the chick to text you on your phone, you know, you say, "Hey, here's my number. Text me." As soon as she texts you, that's a little bit of investment she put in. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're right. just on the app trying to t match and talking and all that other stuff. It's easy for her to unmatch. It's easy for her to just ignore you because she didn't got. She ain't had to put in no investment. She's already on the app. You're already on the app. Y'all just matched, and y'all just talking and shooting the shit or whatever. And it's whatever. And 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 you're also still in the crowd of all the other niggas she done matched with. So when you get her off the phone, guess what? You stood out more than the other guys. When you get her off the app, you stood out more than other guys. When you're talking to her on FaceTime or whatever, you setting up a fucking date. You stood out more than the other guys. You see what I'm saying? But it's it, but that's what I'm saying. It's about to getting her off the shit. See, when you meet in person, it's easier because once you're in person, you got all those different things to play around with. And and so it's easier to to get her and pull her in per look, it's look, this time's where like when me and Miles was doing it, when we was shooting the Game Kings documentary, right? We flew out yeah. to we flew out to Houston, uh, Vegas, LA, all this other shit, right? So me and this dude, my like, for example, when we was in Houston. Me and this dude, Miles, was on Tinder all day, heavy, getting matches like a motherfucker, right? We yeah. ain't meet no chicks off of Tinder. There was a chick literally down the block from where I, from where we were staying at. I said, yo, where you at? She's like, I'm on so-and-so street. I said, yo, I'm down the block. Come through. And she ain't want to come through, right? Then, this me, yeah. then me and this nigga, Miles, was like, yo, let's go out to a spot. We went out to a spot. We met these two chicks. Brought him back to the crib and smash. You understand what I'm saying? No, I. You, you understand I, what I'm saying? I, yeah, no, I understand. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I was gonna say I think a lot of times they don't end up meeting with you because they get like cold feet. You feel me? Because like a nigga they don't even know. Like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Like she could have wanted to meet mm. with you, but like she was like fearful at the same time. You feel me? I mean, some of that happens, and 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 also, but also again, like I'm saying, the online thing is. You know, like, because you know, like, I say, okay, you got it. It's a numbers game. You got to go out and approach a lot of different girls. It's even more of a numbers game online. You understand what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. the numbers game online is twice or three times as harder than the numbers game just in person. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so, yeah. so unless you know how to do online dating really well, unless you know how to finesse it, it's gonna be way harder. Now, there's some guys that be killing online because they know what they're doing. But the thing is, is that. In general, it's, it, it, there's less investment on there. Therefore, it's harder to grasp and get shit popping. Because look, because like right now, I, I, for example, I'll go into my, into my Tinder and I'll say, damn, I got 16, 16, over 1,600 matches. I didn't meet 1,600 women. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I mean? Like, I didn't meet, I didn't even meet half those women, Right. Not even 800. Okay, like 300? Like, I probably met, like, maybe 100, 200 the most out of, out of the fucking 1,600. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, so, and so, again, but also, what, some of that is because some of them was attention whores. Uh, some of them didn't respond back. Some of them I didn't fucking like, so I didn't want to meet them. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? After we were talking yeah. or whatever. So it's all these different variables that make it to where, you know, the shit ain't going to pop off. But it's just, it's just part of, it's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is is that, you know, uh, as far as the, the, the hotter girls or the, 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 you know, the types of chicks that you you really want to get at, right. it's best, it, it, it's easier to get that shit popping 
um, in person. Like if you go to a bar, go to a club. Now, unfortunately, all that shit is closed right now. You feel what I'm saying? All that shit. All- right. But but trust me, like, uh, you know, it's easier to to um, yeah, it's easier to meet those badder chicks just being out. You feel what I'm saying? Like being outside a spot. You feel what I mean? I feel like, all right, I, I, I have this one last thing, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like a theory that I was working in my head. I wanted to bring it, bring it up to you. Right. So I, I was thinking like the three best things you can have going for you to get like a particular chick. Mm-hmm. Notice I said is physical type. <clears throat> That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, how open she is to meeting new men at the time. Like, is she out of a relationship? Is she, like, looking for new dick and shit like that? Mm. And number three is the game. Game meaning knowing what to do, not to do, how to lead the situation, to get what you want type shit. What do you mm. think about that? So you said so you said that, um, you said the first thing was what? the the, the her, her, her You you being her, her type. particular type. Right. That particular girl. That particular girl. Right. Mm. You being her physical type. That's the point. Right. Number two is out how open she is to meeting new men at mm-hmm. the time. Mm-hmm. Is she in a relationship or out of a relationship? Mm-hmm. Is she like currently seeking, you know, new um right. you know, new men? Mm-hmm. And number three is the game, which is mm-hmm. knowing what to do, not to do, what to say, not to say. Right. To oh no, nah, yeah, that that to. that's that's that sounds feasible. You know what I'm saying? Because again, all of that all that points to if it's like that, you know, all of it points to the shit actually, you know, working in in a certain in a certain case. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you and, yeah. and, and I'm glad that you said that you're her physical type because that's the part dudes don't be getting. You feel what I'm saying? They just be like, oh, you got to look good. Look good how? You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like what type of good look are you supposed to be? So you got to be the good look that she thinks is good looking, right? Which is going to help uh-huh. you. You know what I'm saying? And of course, if she's ready to make something happen, because sometimes chicks be in situations where... They may even like a guy and not be ready to make nothing happen because they fucking with some other dude or they exactly. just get, you know what I mean? And it's it's just, they could, shit could still go down, but it's like, they'll be more cooperative if they're in the mood to make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? And then of course, yeah. if you got that game to really know when to, 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 you know, make certain things happen and to fall back on certain things and to keep shit, keep shit going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, now real talk, that's not good. But yo, man, appreciate the call, my brother. I thought you was going to say I thought you were gonna be held. I don't agree with it, but yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that's a, that's a, that's some real shit. That's some real shit. Well, yeah, man. I appreciate the all call, right, my brother. All right, I'm a holler, man. So, all right, peace. All right. all right, make sure you guys hit that donate button. Hit that donate button. Donate to the show. Hit that donate button. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Yo, what up, Lacar? This is Sean. How you doing? I'm chilling. What's going on? Oh, not much, man. Uh got some interesting uh things you're talking about on the show today mm. but uh, the reason i called was uh because for me for you know what's going on in the world has affected my game so heavy because mm. personally i'm the type i like to go out mm. and you know to talk to chicks you know what i'm saying that, right. that's that's what i most like that's what i mostly did because mm. because you know uh the online dating thing doesn't really work out for me mm. because um, for, for whatever reason. But um, my question is, how many chicks do you have to go through online? I know you said it's a number game, mm. but how many chicks do you have to go through just to get like those matches you was talking about? Because you said you have 60, you got 60 matches a day mm. and my hat's off to you, sir. Mm. Right. <laughs> but, but uh, like I get a match like Maybe if I put it in the work, maybe once mm. every three days or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like my online game really isn't all that tight. Right. So, any any suggestions? Well, the thing is, like, is, my, like I feel like my pictures, my pictures are straight. Mm. Like it's not they're not no super model pictures because mm. the ones that I did have up there, I, I had some uh, some unprofessional photos up there, but those were old and it's not how it looked now mm. so i took them off right but uh the pictures i have on there now they're not bad photos at all you know they're pretty good looking photos mm-hmm. if i should say so but uh yeah any um uh, any point is on that yeah well the thing is this is that like <clears throat> you know one of the things is is really 
uh, uh, like I was telling the other dude, right? It's a fucking insane numbers game. Like it's insane. Like meaning, like you got it. You got it. So like, one thing is this: if something's not working, right, you got to switch it up. And the thing you got to switch up mostly is is really the pitcher. So let's say you get a pitcher and you test out that first picture so for example I'll, I'll put i'll put one of my pictures up on this on the screen real quick so you guys can see so um so i got i got like maybe five or six pictures let me see hold on i got um you're like one two three four i got like five pictures so this picture right here if you guys can see it y'all probably seen some of the um some of the videos i'll put this as a screen screenshot or whatever but i i i haven't changed this picture in like fucking months and the reason why i haven't changed it is because this picture usually gets me the most fucking uh, matches. Now I got I got other pictures on there too. Like I got a picture like this, just a you know joint. I got another picture like this. this is a cool picture too. Got another picture of me in a suit or whatever. But that first picture, right, is it, it that got me the most hit. So I, I used I switched all them up and I was like, okay, this one right here is getting me the most shit. So then I know that hey, this one right here is the main shit. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what you got to do. You got to play around with the pictures and then keep keep swiping. So what I would say for you is to get a bunch of, uh, of new pictures, get some uh, uh, professional joints, you understand, a couple of professional joints, shit that looks good, and then get at least five pictures and then test each one of them out for like a week. You understand? So for a whole week, just swipe one and, and have that as your main picture. You know what I'm saying? To see which one is getting the most fucking, you know, swipes on. You know what I'm saying? And but two, it's 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 a thing where, you know, you it's a, a crazy numbers game with the swiping. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you're gonna have to be on that shit. So let's say for every hundred chicks you swipe on, right, you'll get maybe one or two matches, if that much. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the thing. And and are you are you on Tinder? Do you use Tinder? Yeah, I use I am on I use three dating sites. I use mm. Tinder, Bumble, and uh, fuck, what's the last one? Uh, 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 Hinge. Hinge, okay. And uh, yeah, and I and I and I have the same pictures on the same profile on basically all three of them. Mm. You know, right? And, and so, uh, right? And, and so, yeah. right? And so, and so, um, one of the things too is that you know, yeah. So you gotta you know switch up your pictures. Uh, you gotta swipe like crazy. And also, what it is, is too, as far as the pictures, because the pictures is the main thing. And this is what I will say about the pictures. And if you guys notice, hold on, because I've talked about this before, but this is a very, this is very important. You want to have, you want to have at least <clears throat> one or two of your pictures, right? Because I, I got a bunch of them that sort of look like this. If you look at this picture, this doesn't look like a picture from an iPhone. It doesn't look like a picture that's like in the bathroom. You understand what I'm saying? This this is like the closest picture I have to looking like a regular picture. But if you see this other picture right here, it still it still doesn't look like a regular picture taken from an iPhone. This picture right here also doesn't look like a regular picture. It looks like something that you would see like in a magazine or something. You understand what I'm saying? This is just another picture of me doing some shit at, at the one of the, the events I did. And this is one other one that I just took that's like regular just to have like at least another regular one so you want to you want to include regular shit but you want to let's say if you have five pictures two or three of them should look like professional ass pictures now the reason why i'm saying this is because and i talked about this before is when you have pictures that look professional right on a subconscious level it makes the woman it, it, it catches the eye better because it reminds them of magazines you understand what I'm saying? Just like when you were when chicks was younger and they used to post pictures on their wall of Justin Bieber and fucking uh you know Backstreet Boys and all that other stupid shit and fucking uh you know immature and and and, and B2K and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's because the medium they're looking at your sh shit on is the same thing as the medium they would look at a, a magazine. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is mm -hmm. on a subconscious level, it grabs their eye quicker. It makes them want to swipe on it because it looks like it looks like something out of a magazine. This is why I tell you guys, you got to get some higher quality pictures that make you look cool as shit. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's what I'm talking about. So so what I'm saying is is that 
Like, cause even 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 this 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 you know this first picture that I'm that I that I show on the joint, right? This picture that I that I'm showing on here, right? This shit, it looks like me, so it doesn't look like it's not me, but it looks like a cool version of me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it looks like a cooler ass version of me. So what you want to do is you want to have get you hire your photographer and get and get him to fucking take some cool ass pictures of you. You understand what I'm saying? And even and even what you need to do is is that you want to uh 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 what you call it? Um photoshop the joints. Not and not photoshop it to make you look different, but photoshop it to make it look clear. So what I'm saying is is that if you took a picture and you got a little zit on the fucking side of your face, photoshop that zit out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm not saying Photoshop big ass muscles on you or nothing. I'm just saying Photoshop the zit out. Make your skin look clearer in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? That type of yeah. shit. So that's what I'm saying. Where you can you can enhance the look, which is gonna catch the eye, which is gonna give you more matches. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. that's the yeah. thing. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Where dudes dudes don't dudes don't really. Like they don't they don't take the time to do none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like little things like that make a difference, and then you'll get more matches because. And then, and the thing is, if you dress nice, got a nice fucking haircut, nice shape up, all that other shit, whatever you're doing, your hair is, is looking how it needs to look. Um, and you're and you're you present the picture in that professional way. At least two or three. At least two or three. Have like five pictures. At least two. You know, two the least. You understand what I'm saying? That had that look like professional shit. You understand? That shows you in that best light. Just like if you were to look at a fucking uh you know when you see actors headshots? It it should look something like that where it looks fucking the best representation of you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying is, is that those are the type of things that that need to occur for for that shit to happen. You, you understand what I'm saying? Cuz the thing again like I said Online dating is just a, a, a super crazy numbers game. And the thing is, if you have the a better representation of what you're putting out there, that's going to get you more people coming to your shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because basically what you're yeah. doing is, is you're marketing yourself. You see what I mean? You're presenting yeah. a certain type of image to the chicks that you're you're interacting with. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what he's got to yeah. work. You got to work on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, uh, last thing, uh, for when when things do go back to normal and you know the mm -hmm. chicks do come back out the house, uh, I, I do plan on you know definitely getting back out there in the street. Mm -hmm. But definitely, I definitely know, man, I'm gonna be a little bit. I think we all are a little gonna be a little bit rusty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it first when it first come to uh, interacting with the chick, mm -hmm. because you know. I, like when I would go out on a daily basis to do it mm. because you know I my, my schedule would allow me to. Mm. But um, uh, when we get back out in the in the fields, uh, these events that I'm uh, I plan on going to, you know, the, the groups of chicks that are going to be there. Mm. Uh, from I don't really okay. See, my thing is, I'm, I'm more hard on myself than I should be, mm. but that's a, but that's also a good thing. Right. Um, I feel like I feel like I, I still struggle at balancing the conversation when I'm dealing with a group of four or five women when I'm trying to get that one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm, I'm meaning that I feel like I talk to the whole group more than I'm trying to talk to you know make it happen with the one you know what i'm mm. saying like I, I i struggle trying to find that balance mm. so my question for you is uh a quick example of like how do you transition how, how do you work the group you know what i'm saying like i, I know the basics talk to the group when you approach the group talk to them first mm. uh then transition to the girl mm. but during the conversation if you can think of a story real quick like how did you work the group to make it go in your specific direction mm. like with the cock blockers or whatever mm. uh the other friends that was jealous mm. like do you, you have a, a quick story that you can share real quick to like well yeah well it depends it depends on the size of the group too because again like i said 
Um, all, all of that, all of that is on. All of that, and for those who don't know, I have a whole bad boy membership program on talking to girls in groups. So I break down how to, you know, make that shit happen. But um, I say, like, you know, just as far as a quick example is, let's say, like, I remember there was a, it was a group of. I'll give you two two examples. One was a group of four. It was you know four girls in a group, and then one was like a group of like eight or nine chicks. But it was like because they were like it was like a birthday party or some shit for some chicks or whatever like that. Um, so the the one with the group of four, right, is really the same thing. Is that all I do? All I did was approach the whole group because they was just sort of like chilling there, like near the bar, right. And then so I chilled. I, I just went up there. I was like, "Hey, how you ladies doing? What's going on? How, how's it going?" I introduced myself to all of them, shook all their hands, and then I just started talking to them. And then I was like, "So what you doing out here tonight?" And then she was like, "Oh, just me and my friends. We just chilling, but yada yada, just regular shit." And I'm just engaging in a conversation with all four of them. You feel what I'm saying? And then so all I said was, I was like, "Hey, listen, um, you know, I was like, look, um, there was I forgot the girl's name, but let's let's just call her Girl A because that's the one I wanted to talk to, right?" And I said, listen, I'm going to steal your friend, girl A, real quick. And then I grabbed her hand and pulled her to the side, right? And then so once I did that, right, the other three just started talking to themselves. And I started talking to girl A. You feel what I'm saying? And so now that I pulled her to the side, and I, and I wasn't really that far away from her. It was like just a few feet. And I was like, you know, I was like, listen, um, you know, I got to head out. But, you know, I thought she was cute. Here's my information. She gave me her number. And then after I got her information, I went back to the other girls and I said, hey, it was good meeting y'all. I gave all of them a hug and then bounced. You feel what I'm saying? And that was it. Yeah. You feel what I mean? But it was like I was talking to those four girls first for maybe like, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes. Not even that long. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Just joking with them, just asking them a bunch of shit or whatever. And the thing was, within that time, I found out who was who. Uh, who had a boyfriend, who was single, you know what I'm saying, because I had to find mm -hmm. out if the girl was single, the one I wanted to holler at, because right. in my mind, I said, if girl A isn't single, I'm going to holler at girl C, you feel what I'm saying, so right. I had to do that before I even tried to pull the chick, so I'm, I'm figuring all that shit out, and so two of the two of the girls had boyfriends, the other girl was single, girl C was single, and girl A was single, so I was like, shit, girl A is single, I'm going to pull girl A to the side, you feel what I'm saying, I started talking to her, and then and then did that shit, right, now, the the and the thing is this when you're when you're having the conversation with the girls in the groups right it's not that you have to uh have all of them engaged at every single moment but you want to be able to um you know include the group that's all that really matters is that you're not leaving anyone out the conversation and if you see anyone seeming like they're they're not cuz this is what you got to say some some girls they're shy even if you come up to them and it's more of them, sometimes they're shy, right? So let's say you have the four girls and let's say girl C is shy. You got A, B, C, and D. Girl C is shy, so she's being real quiet. So I, when I notice that, I bring her into the conversation. I'll be like, yo, what do you think? You, you quiet over there. What's going on with you? Blah, blah, blah. So I bring her in. You feel what I'm saying? So that she doesn't feel left out and then because so that she doesn't feel awkward. Because if she's feeling awkward, then she's going to probably want to pull her friend over. and you know. So I'm making sure all that is cool. After all of them is cool and everything is good, then I pull the girl that I want to talk to, talk to her for real quick, and then I say goodbye to the whole group. Now, the other situation when the, the when there was like maybe eight or nine chicks, right? What happened was <clears throat> they were uh, they were in this like corner. Some of them were sitting down, and maybe I think three of them were standing up. So I talked to the three that was standing up, and I said. I basically said, I was like, hey, what's, what's going on tonight, right? And then so she was like, oh, it's my, my friend's party, whatever, whatever, right? So for the first maybe minute or two, I was only talking to the three. The other ones were sitting down because the other women were occupying themselves. I didn't really need to, like, engage with them at that time. You feel what I'm saying? So the girl whose birthday it was was sitting down. So I said, who's the birthday girl? And then she was like, oh, the, the, my friend over here. So what I did was... I went over and I said, hey, happy birthday. Let me give you a hug, blah, 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 blah. Your friend was telling me it's your birthday. But so now I'm 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 still talk I'm talking to those group, the, the other group of girls who are sitting down. And so now I got the whole group that knew I was there. Because a lot of times what'll happen is you in those groups and the person's like, Who is this guy? Like even the, I saw some of the girls looking over to see, like, oh, who's this guy talking to my friend? You feel what I'm saying? 
So I just introduced myself real quick to those girls over there, but I went back to the three girls. Because one of the girls I wanted to talk to was in those three girls. And then so I did the same thing, pulled her to the side, said, hey, I'm about to go get a drink. Come, come roll with me real quick. Pulled to the side. I got me a drink. Um, I started talking to her real quick. I said, listen, let me get your information. I got me my friend over here, blah, blah, blah. Same, you understand? So it's really just engaging, not being afraid to engage the group. But you have to have a very tight mouthpiece and be very aware of social cues. So, so this is the thing where it's a little bit more advanced because you have to, it's like you have to be able to think on your feet quicker. Cause like when you're just right. talking to one girl, it's like okay, well we're we're talking and I'm interacting with you and it is what it is. But when you're when you're trying to manage a whole group and keep this shit interesting, lively, and and also know knowing how to read each person, you feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes you'll be talking to a group and you there there's sometimes there's chicks in a group who are haters. So the yeah, haters, yeah. right? Exactly. The haters are the ones that you really gotta fucking. Uh, be able to interact with, and 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 sort of like, you know, get them on your on your side or whatever. So I remember one time there was a one there was one other girl who, it was another group of girls I was talking to. It was like, but it was only three girls, and one of them was the super super hater, right? So I said to her, I said, listen, I was like, because she had her face all screwed up. I said, I said, what's wrong with your face? She's like, what you mean? I was like, you looking all mad and shit. She was like, what you mean? I was like, look, you, you too pretty. To be acting to, to screw your face up like that. So as soon as I said that, she started smiling and shit because I told her she's too pretty. So I gave her a compliment to fucking lower her guard down so I could talk to her fucking friend because I already saw from a mile away she was gonna try to cock block. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And so and you see what I mean? So it's just little things you gotta be able to 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 figure out in those situations. But the more you do it, the more it becomes a little easier to fucking you know navigate. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I, like I don't know. If, I, I've had similar situations where I'd be at a bar or something. It'd be like uh, a group of three. Two of them be responding, but it'll be just that one who you try to include her in the conversation, but she just won't buy it mm. for, some, for whatever reason, mm. and um, just ends up screwing up the whole thing in a way. Mm. You know, right? Like, I've, I've had that. Right. Well, well yeah, you just got to, in those yeah. cases, you just got to, you just got to hit the chick with the, with the, with the information, the chick that you want to talk to, hit her with the number and be like, yo, I'm going I'm to holler at you or whatever, or holler at me. And sometimes the chick will cock block, sometimes the chick won't. And, you know, it just is what it is. Because, you know, you can't really, you know what I'm saying? You can't control any of that. It's just more trying to manage the situation to, to, to get certain things done. You feel me? Yes. Yeah. All right. look, that's all, dude. Appreciate it. All right, bro. I'm holler. Peace. All right. All right, we let me get, we're gonna get one more call real quick. One more call, and then I, I got to head up out of here. Make sure you guys hit that donate button. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. What is this shit? Hold on. You, what's popping? Who's this? You. What's the sound? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? It's a Johnny, but I keep hearing the sound, you know. What happened? That is better. It's better. No, I heard the sound. It's nothing. Uh, what's going on? Yeah. That is good, man. I'm calling from Sweden, Johnny. What up? Let's go with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I had a problem here. Um, I got lucky. I met a girl before the corona outbreak. Mm-hmm. Um, so I heard you talking about the sleeping over thing, mm -hmm. uh, but the fact is I didn't let her sleep over the first night, but she came here for a second. Of course we fucked, uh, on the first, mm -hmm. but she driving to me one hour, you know, so I'm thinking like, of mm -hmm. course she got a sleeper. Mm -hmm. She can't go back in the night. Mm -hmm. And I'm just checking it because I heard that, you know, what's your point on that? No, my thing is, if you go, if, the thing is, if you gonna let her sleep over, then you gotta let her bounce early in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't have her chilling all the rest of the day. Cause what? Cause again, what you gotta understand is, is that when you're first dealing with a woman, right? You you don't want to give her too much of anything yet. You gotta, you, you understand what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta treat it like how 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 a company treats the employee. 
You understand? Yeah. They have to earn a position, right? So the thing is, a person's not going to come in on the first day working in, in the mail room or work at entry level and expect to be paid a hundred grand a year. You feel what I'm saying? You say, okay, you want to get a hundred grand a year, you're going to have to work in this company for 10 years and then you're going to have to, you know what I'm saying? We're saying you got to be at this certain level. So, I, yeah, I just don't, don't want to be rude and let you know, saying, "Hey, you gotta get out now." No, no, it ain't gotta be rude. You you could just tell you could tell her from the jump. You feel what I'm saying? Tell her even before she get there. Be like, "Hey, listen, um, yeah, definitely come through, but uh, you know, you are gonna have to bounce, you know, at a certain because time." Because you're like, making you coffee, you know. I'm sharing coffee mm -hmm. before she bounces. Say that again. I know. I'm sharing a coffee. You know, I make some coffee on that before she bounces. Yeah, I mean that's cool. I'm just saying this. All I'm trying to say is this. I just want you guys to understand that when you when you're doing extra shit besides fucking when you first are dealing with a girl and you understand what I'm saying what you're doing is is that you're giving her boyfriend vibes you're giving her more um energy than she needs to than she earned at this point that's what I'm saying you understand what I'm saying so like what yeah. so what, so what I'm saying is is that you know it's just like it's just like if you have if you have twenty bucks, right? Twenty dollars can only get you so much. You're not gonna you're not gonna uh, sell a person a car for twenty dollars. You understand what I'm saying? A car is more expensive than twenty dollars, right? So yeah. you say until you have enough money to get this car, you're not gonna get this thing. So until she's had put in enough work to get this type of treatment, you're not gonna get this treatment. So so what a lot of guys are doing. You guys are giving women tw cars for twenty dollars. You're, you're, they're getting you for cheap. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And, and that's she, called, that, she called me out. She said she called me a fucking infomaniac, you know. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, you know, she want to eat uh, some, look at a movie, eat some chips, snacks. Mm. I'm like, okay. Um, so I'm trying to ease her. Yes, her guard is up. I don't know. Wait, so uh, you, you said she called you a nymphomaniac? Yeah, I don't know how to take it, but... Mm. Hey, I mean, because y'all yeah, yeah, fucking like crazy. That's what. That's probably what it is. But I'm just saying, man, like, you know, you could you have a state of night if you want. I'm just saying don't do too much too soon and give her too much fucking uh, leeway when it comes to certain things. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's, 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 yeah. all, that's all I'm saying with it. You feel me? But this keeps this chick is keeping uh, also kissing my chick regularly. I haven't experienced that. You like, say she she's doing what? That. Yeah, she like uh, coming uh, and kissing my chick often. I don't know, too soon. Wait, she know? says. Wait, hey, hold on. I, I'm I'm confused. You say she's kissing your what? Um, no, my chick. She says she's kissing your cheek. Yeah, uh, uh, often. I I this is of course after the sex, but. When I'm doing my thing here, because I'm a producer, I'm making music, and she's over there in uh, in the bed. She's coming at me and kissing on my cheeks regularly. So <laughs> I'm not. I'm like not used to that. You know, girls typically don't do that. That you know, fast. Wait. So you said you'd be in your house producing music, and she comes through and kisses your cheek. Yeah, she's doing. She's doing it quite often. So, but why why is she there while you're producing music? Because she fucked and she's here. She's, I said it. She's sleeping over. It's late. So I'm doing my thing, you know. Uh, See, that's what I'm talking I'm about. Y'all be getting these chicks get so comfortable, man. I'm telling y'all. That's that's all you see. She she's she's looking at you on some boyfriend shit, and then and and and, and she's getting that treatment too soon. All that's all I'm saying. So, bruh, just you know, just have sex with her. And, and hook up with her and, and just, you know, and that's it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then all the other shit of spending the night and going out and doing all this extra shit. Uh, yeah. You know, do that. Save that shit for later, man. You know what I'm saying? But she's doing it. I'm not asking for it. No, but you're, you're but this is what I'm saying. You're allowing her to be with you that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you mean I have to push her away? No, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. How, how long you been seeing this woman for? We've been like seeing each other for like three times. I fucked all of them also. No, no, so wait, so so you just started dealing with this girl? Yeah. Since when? When's, when you first when you, when you first met her? 
one month ago and we've seen each other. That's what I'm saying. Time. You only known this girl for a month. That's what I'm talking about. So if you yeah. know this girl for a month, it's like, yo, come through, let's have sex, and I'll see you later. Keep it moving. You feel what I'm saying? And I'll call you later. We'll have some more sex and then keep it moving. And then if and then if y'all been fucking around and hooking up for six, seven, eight months, right? Then cool. Yeah. We 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 chill and maybe we could go get something to eat right now. You feel what I'm saying? But like you know, y- y- y'all be doing way too much with these chicks. And then when the chicks start to play y'all, because y'all, cause now you've invested so much, so you're going to be a- 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 attached to her and shit. And then you're going to feel a certain type I'm of way. Suspicious. That's why I'm so suspicious about it. Like, why is this doing that? You know, kissing my chicks often and clingy behavior because that's my suspicious and I'm thinking about something, you know. But that's what I'm saying. You're, al- you're, allowing, you're allowing her to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Feel the manipulation. That's what I'm saying. You're allowing her to do that. Exactly. Uh, George, money in the chat. He says she's trying to get you to invest. You feel what I'm saying? She's trying yeah. to get you to invest more time, more energy. So what I'm saying is, is that you understand? Don't don't give her all of that extra shit. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? So the best thing to do is to just to pull away a little more. No, just yeah, right. just hook up. Just be like, if 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 she's on some shit, if it's some shit where okay, it's getting real late. And she going to spend a night, okay, cool. She can spend a night, but she got to get up at the crack of dawn and, and bounce. Or get have her come over early so y'all can fuck, and it's early enough for her to fucking drive back whatever the fuck she need to go. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, bro. All right, That's what I need. All right, man. I'm going to let you, bro. Peace. All right, peace. All right. Last call, last call. Yo, what's popping? What's good? What's good, man? How's it going, man? Chilling, chilling. What's good, what's good with you? I'm chilling, man. Can't complain, man. You know, how it is in New York, man. You know, I feel you. Not to buy the best way we can through this shit, man. You know, I feel you. I try to see the positive to the negative, man. Right. So what's going on? Not much, not much. But yeah, I was um, I was thinking the same thing. Like you know, I think I was about to curve. But yeah, also too that you know certain types of women, they're gonna be fucked up if this shit lasts at least like about a year. And everything. The dude's gonna be fucked up a little bit, you know, faster than the woman. And everything. That's that true fact. But um, but for the women, the only way they're gonna be fucked up by this shit mostly is you got to take something away from them. And everything. And it's mostly right now the biggest tool that they have to feed their egos is the internet. Right. It's true. Shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they they manipulating like crazy even before the internet. But you know now it's like they took it up a notch with the internet and shit. Mm-hmm. You gotta take that shit away from them. Because you see so many IG models on these chicks promoting their OnlyFans so hard. Mm-hmm. They probably almost charging a dollar for a subscription and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck, damn? They that desperate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, it's real you know talk. I'm telling you, a lot of women is gonna capitalize off of, of, of trying to get as much attention out of dudes as possible at this point. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And everything. Mm-hmm. But it's not... It, it, and that doesn't last either, too, and everything. So it's like, you know, you better, um, they better, you know, try to suck up these chips as much as possible mm. because that shit ain't gonna last. God forbid this shit lasts longer. Like I said, it's, who's ain't gonna have money like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be sucking up. Well, Burn. see, the thing is, if this shit lasts a, longer than, uh, like, a month or two, it's gonna be more, even more fucked up shit to think about because, you know, motherfuckers ain't gonna have no money. Shit, gonna, dudes gonna be losing their goddamn minds. It's gonna. It's going to be crazy, yeah. so... so. <laughs> it's, exactly, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, for dudes, maybe they like, you know, just like, you know, mm. men like you mm. that are married or, you know, some got girlfriends and everything, mm. y'all going to be all right. Y'all right. in relationships and everything. Mm. But for, like, men that's not in relationships, like, you know, um, womanizing dudes, mm. yeah, they're going to be fucked up because the longer they separate from their side pieces and all that shit, by the time we out this shit, like I said, this last is a year, Mm. They might not want to fuck with they, they side piece that they don't win. Mm. And they, they side piece might not want to fuck with them because they don't know, know what they got and shit. They might have to work on looking for a new group of side pieces <laughs> and shit. I mean, we going to see. I'm, 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 I'm interested again. to see how all of this play out, though. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's going exactly. to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting exactly. to see, you know, what actually goes down. Because I'm just like, shit. You know what I mean? Because this shit... This shit is because you know it's this is something we we haven't been through in our lifetime. So we'll see we'll see how this t- 
turns out, and also I'm interested to see how this affects everything after all of this shit dies down. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you know everything. Because everybody's going to be real cautious of, you know, even they're going to be real more horny and shit. Right. It's just going to be more loose. Or they're going to be way, way more cautious and shit. Right. But that depends on how long it is. For females, like I said, it's going to be legal. They have to be no longer. They have to... For us men's fight, it's probably going to be like after three months. It lasts like three months. Mm. Yeah, we only going to be horny more ever. We got to bust that nut. You know what I'm saying? Right. But for women, ah, uh, nah. Unless, you know, that's just about a high value female. So mm. I, I try not to use rating systems no more and shit. Right. But, you know, I'm going to the same thing. But, um, but like I said, the attractive the females... Mm. They're they going to take a little longer for them to kick in. Like I said, after a year, that's when they're going to kick in their horniness. Right. And shit. Right. And everything. Nah, but this is time I'm telling you for some dudes, they mm. need to practice on their game, their dirty talking skills. I try, like I tried to get negative or positive. I was mm. thinking about how you try to tell some dudes, like, um, if you go talking to a female online, she's away in another country and shit like that, mm. you know, don't talk to her. Right. I, I don't see a positive in that. Like, you know what? Stop this young, stop the dirty talk to out of town chicks, mm. and then use it for your in town chick. Mm. Cause some dudes can practice. Right, right. They, now I feel you. Yeah, talk. dudes can practice on the shit if if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? They, they just they just gotta you know? they just gotta keep it to a minimum though. Because trust me, dudes get caught up and they'll they'll just be giving all this attention and it's it's just not gonna be a good look. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what the dirty talking is. Mm. You know, you practice your dirty talking. And find a style that works to the out-of-town chicks. Mm. And when you see that they open and get horny and probably fuck themselves on the phone and shit like that, then you use it, that same thing to your in-town chicks. Mm. Now that, you that, you find the style for yourself how to talk dirty to chicks, mm. and you're building more confidence. Mm. Now you can use that to the in-town chicks and shit. Like, you know what? It works for these out-of-town hoes. Right. Now, let me use it to the in-town hoes and shit. You're real. Right. And I built up the confidence now. I know how to handle them mm. and shit. You know Right. Nah, real talk, bro. But yo, man, I appreciate the call, my brother. I got to head up out this motherfucker. All right, man. I'm going to holler, bro. All right. Peace, man. All right. Peace, peace, peace. So shout out to everybody in the chat. Um, Shout out to everybody who uh, sent donations. Shout out to FFG with the $5 donation. Shout out to my dude, uh, Curvins, with the $5 donation. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, that's what's up. Appreciate you, uh, Black Book Basics was popping. I appreciate y'all videos, man. You guys, you spin that game. Make sure you guys, um, subscribe to Black Book Basics. They are on point. Make sure you guys check those guys out. Um, hold on. Let me see something. But yeah, so, again, what's, what's today? Today is, what is it? I can't, I can't even remember the fucking day. Today's Thursday, right? So, so yeah, so we got, I'm gonna do another live stream tomorrow for the Friday live stream. You feel what I'm saying? And um, make sure that you guys get this book. I have sex with two women a day ebook, hard copy, or audio book. Make sure you go to mrlocario.com to get your copy today. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, also, make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com. To join the Bad Boy membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. You feel what I'm saying? And remember, do not give these chicks all this attention, man. I'm telling you. You understand? Just, uh, you know, FaceTime their ass once and then tell them you holler at them when all this shit die down. You feel what I'm saying? Tell them you will holler at them when this shit dies down. You feel me? But um, shout out to everybody in the chat. And I appreciate all you guys. I will holler at you guys tomorrow. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.